it being... oxygen because it's everywhere it's it's something that can never be um in short supply basically um are they all the same requirements as they are now whichever one i choose yes I so probably, like, i think i might go with water to, you never have to drink water or you never have to oh. breathe oxygen oh you mean like you never, have to, you never have to do or, um, yeah because not having to breathe to is like a superpower food. I'm assuming we agree I'm on that. The applications, the, <laughs> yeah. the practical applications of. Well, I like to eat food, so I don't want right. to give that up. Especially nowadays, where food is in plentiful supply and it is quite delicious. Um, so it's really between water and oxygen. Well, I think wait I'm a minute. Go if with... I don't, if I don't need to eat, does that mean that I can eat and it makes no difference? Or, mm. um, does you it get can... processed. Maybe it's just like a neutral thing in your body. It's like nitrogen for the mouth. Well, surely it wouldn't just mean everything stays the same, except you don't have the requirement. Okay, yeah, yeah. You don't have the requirement. So you, could eat, yeah. you, you could breathe, you just don't need to ever. Oh, um, yeah, because I think I first you understood to the question as if, um... Yeah. But if you don't get it, you won't die. Yeah. You could still like well, I mean, you could you know, put you could, water in your mouth and swallow. Yeah, you could you could uh, go deep diving without oxygen, or at least do it to a certain extent, right? Because you wouldn't need any oxygen. I don't know how that would you feel. Could... Not yeah. needing oxygen. Pretty weird, I, I imagine, just... but you get used to it. Yeah, I suppose so. You just wouldn't breathe until you needed to speak, probably. Yeah. Just so you could move air through your yourself. Well, good talk. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're here today to catch up on some super chats, uh, and it's with as the title implies, we're catching up on like catching up, catching up, catching up. Uh, this whole thing gets confusing sometimes. Exciting. We'll start with yeah. uh, catching up on Streamlabs. There are five, six of them, I think, but uh, we'll give a look, see what they've been saying over there. I keep on pondering if I'm crazy. Andor looks like it could have something to it. We might even learn the motivation of our main character. It probably won't be good. What? But am I stupid to hope? Am I stupid to hope that our main character has a motivation that's explained <laughs> to us? Yeah. Um, well, I think we've all said that Andor looks like, uh, I don't know, the most promising it out looks of a lot like of them. not terrible, but it is just a trailer, but... Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. I'm I'm certainly more curious about Andor than I am about a lot of the other stuff that we watched on the uh, yeah, MCU like breakdown EFAP that we did a couple uh, EFAPs back. Mm -hmm. I want to see what all that money gives me. Not my money. Their money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to uh, see what their money gives to me. Seems to me, Mando, Mando season two, Boba, and Kenobi were all shot on the, with the similar sensibilities. Um, with better and worse coming in here and there. Uh, Andor looks like it was done in some other way, and so that's why I just want to see what they do with it. Maybe the script had a different sensibility when it was made, you know? Ooh. We'll find out. So, um, yeah, have a little bit of hope. Why not? Why not? Imagine Bioshock Infinite released today. Twitter would call it a whopper supremacist game, despite the themes almost literally telling the players the exact opposite. Um, it, it could get in trouble. It could. Uh, there's a lot of. I'm pretty sure it did get in trouble when it came out. Yeah, I guess you'd say more trouble. Uh, so, well, if it did get in trouble, then it definitely would these days. Um, there's a couple of other games and films and stuff that have that sort of angle as well, but yeah. Um. Uh, this just says rags uu for covering the retard. Hope to see another video soon. Uh, you will see another video soon. I'm guessing they meant thank you, not uu. You, 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 uh, you guys should cover The Boys, the show for thinking people. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Jesus that was a meme, right? Christ. <laughs> yeah, it's a meme video, or I guess it's a meme to us, but someone made a, made like The Boys, the superhero, the show oh, for God. thinking people, and it had a picture of like Homelander versus, I, I forget, some Marvel character, I forget. Am I man, Iron Man? Wait, thinking is, people. Sorry, so this is like a real thing. Yeah. 
I'm assuming it's real. That's why they asked us. It says it's the most yeah, pretentious the video thumbnail. essay ever. I was losing brain cells trying to watch it. Is it legit or is it a meme? Because I... A meme is in like they're self-aware. Oh, I haven't seen the video. I just seen the thumbnail. Well, I'll give it a little look-see. Maybe, maybe it'll end up on our anniversary. Who knows? I find that pretty hilarious for anybody to argue that the boys is like intelligent content or something. Yeah. And I could already see the beard like, because you see... Most things think heroes would be nice. The boys is, is more smart because the, cause they're bad. Yeah, could you imagine what if there was a superhero but he was actually kind of a meanie? <gasps> oh my god, what if they did Superman but evil? <gasps> I can't believe I thought of this idea all by myself. Yeah, dude, ah! so many people come up with that uh, for the first time. It's amazing. And then... Everyone's like, wait, what happens next? What do, what do we do once we make Superman evil? It's like, make him good again, I guess. <laughs> okay, alright. I like how this happens with Superbad Bull than basically anything else. It's like, what about Batman yeah. if he was evil? And everyone's like, nah, it's more interesting that Superman is because he's really powerful. And it's like, is that true? An evil Batman sounds like there could be a lot of fucking damage. I don't know. Um, us EU fans, when people claim that Disney now builds up Star Wars into being part of a universe, we seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. It's always a blast. Do you think you're ever going to make <laughs> the Star Wars cinematic universe? That'll never happen. I do, I do like the idea of this Disney are like, we've made Star Wars into a universe. All the EU people are just crying. Fuck yeah! Uh, it's always a blast to see you guys rip Star Disney Star Wars apart and count it all the ripped off, bastardized EU stuff. Yeah, but usually the comment section makes up for that sort of angle. Uh, it's surprising how many stories they tell that are like, wait a minute, that 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 sounds like you took it from Thingy, and then they're like, what? No, why would you? Do what? Um. Yeah, and all would be next. Lord Longbong of Mewbleton Abbey, have you given any thought to infiltrating Buckingham Palace and longing out on, on the royal family to establish Wales independence once and for all? When there's not much going on, it would be a revolution for the ages. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, I gotta get this new video done, and then I'll talk to my other longs and see if they're, uh, they wanna, wanna do that yet. Conspirators. If they don't wanna do it yet, we'll just, um... You know, we'll just keep planning. When planning stages is, you know, can, can you take a while. You want to redraft. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like what, what we say. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is, yeah. You don't want to go with your first plan. Um, so that's it for Streamlabs. We're on to catching up for EFAP episode 194's catch up. All right. That, that totally made sense. It was easy to follow. Play Pepsi Man or Jackie Chan Stuntmaster. Ow. All right. Yes, ow, ow. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Ow. Oi, Frongo, how popular is Maccas in Aussie land? I mean, there's a lot of them. What is it? Maccas? McDonald's. Oh. Oh, is that what you call it there? Maccas. Maccas, not Maccas. Yeah, Maccas. Stop <laughs> it. You're mispronouncing it. Maccas. Mac Maccas? Yeah. Maccas. Leave his little American or accent alone. He just says Maccas because that's what they Mackers. do to Ayers. They can't resist Frank. It's what they do. Yeah. Uh, Macca and Macker. At least we've got a Smiling Friends special coming soon. We've seen it. I mean, watched it. It's, um, yeah. Should we even say anything about it? I feel like it would spoil it potentially. You should go watch it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's funny. It is funny. That's true. Um, it's a very cool little thing they made. I appreciate it. Uh, wait. This isn't Morley's Iron Man three unbridled praise. I don't <gasps> even. I don't even know if you'll ever see that. I don't even. I don't know. You can't release another Super Chat catch-up already. I haven't finished the other one you just dropped. Hey, they come out like one week at a time, okay? I think there's enough time. To be able to find three-ish hours. That's what they tend to be around. Seems reasonable to me. Uh, I really hate RLM and their fans' terminology, like saying Star Wars Episode Four is a cop uh, popcorn movie, Vader is a cartoon villain, Star Wars is about family. 
ignores the politics. Star Wars is a magical fantasy. It's so undermining. It can get strange sometimes. Um, because popcorn movie usually implies there's not much meaning to it. Um, yeah, it's very surface level. It's action focused. It's just really spectacle, and that's about it. There's no thinking required, and or if it's it's actively discouraged. It's like um, like nerd guilt. It's like oh, I, nerd guilt. Yeah, where you're just like I I got to admit that my thing is nerdy and lame because it's got I don't know space people in it and spaceships and laser sword things. And it's like it's all right. You can actually say it's kind of cool. Okay. You'll be fine. Ah, oh, I gotcha. You don't have to be like, oh, nah, Star Wars is lame too. It's not, it's no out, uh, art house film or something. I just be like, nah, it's pretty badass on its own, okay? All right. We're going to be fine. There's space enough for all kinds of great movies to exist. Uh, did I miss EFAP 189's Super Chat catch up? Um,. Did is is the maybe I haven't released it yet? One eighty nine. Hmm. If uh, which one that was? Oh, well, that's a good filtering system. Maybe hashtag one eighty nine. No. Oh, okay. Um. Well, uh, as far as I know, we're all up to date. I usually keep track of how everything's going. Oh, 189 is a, um... It wasn't streamed. What was 189? Uh, let me, let me double check. EFAP 189. Having a little look at some Spider-Man No Way Home criticism with meme and metal. Wait, so that was... Oh, no, wait, we recorded that offline, right? <clears throat> I think we did. Yeah, there's no chat on screen. Okay, yeah. So that wasn't streamed as far as I know. Oh, then again, it was premiered. I'll have to have a look on the uh, the Moolah side of things. See if... I don't know if Super Chats even... There were any on that, but if there were, I will grab them up. Don't you worry. Uh, da, 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 da. I listened to the Twin Perfect debate recently, and he did a lot of mop and bucket. Yes, he did. Mop and bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it too. Mop and bucket. It's a good I strategy. Like um, don't know if you massive saw, but someone uploaded the animatic with audio of Jendi Tartakovsky's cancelled Popeye movie. This man, that man needs a break. Oh, is that I had no um, idea that he was going to make a Popeye movie? Yeah, well, I was actually going to say, is that good or bad that that got out? Do we are we happy that got out for him, or is that bad? I don't know. Because, you know, like, the I back... Think, uh, was it cancelled and then it got released, like, the storyboards? Is the Are people happy that that's I happened? Don't know. Or? I didn't know about this, so... Yeah, I don't know about it either. Um, he's completely right. Batman doesn't affect slash solve anything. He didn't even check the angle on the photos to find the apartment. Worst Batman ever. This is in reference to the Batman and Sitch's criticism that the movie basically functions all the same way if he wasn't even in it. Um, which, as I've said before, I've seen people fight over this. I need to rewatch the movie to see about that. I'm assuming this doesn't apply to the end of the movie where he does loads of things. But I'm guessing they're saying, like, if he didn't affect the Riddler's plotline at all, we'd end up in the same third act. Um, and then, yeah, that, that whole not checking where the photos were taken from was such a, like, crazy sort of thing that I can't believe that's even in the film. Not the, the, like, the, the, I don't know why you would want to write it that way. You surely want to write it so that the photos were taken from a vantage point that's just general, generic, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, hi, Rags. I built my first PC with my brother's help. Oh, that's really good. I hope you really enjoy it. Yeah. That is neat. It's neat to use something that you've made. Um, Reeves getting full control of Batman with his movies and the animated series is by far the worst thing for the character ever. Tom King's Antifa ally Batman is going to be canonized as default now. I don't think any singular Batman can take over the rest of them. Most people at this point always talk about who their favorite one is out of many. Um, yeah, I figure. And you know, there's still fights to stay about whether or not... Uh, Burton's Batman versus Nolan's Batman versus Reeves' Batman, and you know, just uh, obviously the, even the animated one gets thrown in as being like, nah, this is this is Chad Batman, Ultimate Batman. So it's um, 
I think you'll, you know, everyone fights over it and they will forever. It's all good. Use Max's blindness for her to put down barriers. I assume that's referencing Stranger Things, but I don't quite understand. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh, I'm not following on that one. How is everyone doing? I'm swell. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm doing fine. Well, now, yeah. I still will stream. I have a chat about this and that. You know, I'm building my first PC. It's also my first that isn't a Mac. Any program slash software you'd recommend downloading right off the bat for it? Thanks. Hmm. Rhino. Any, any, uh, computer. Yeah, there's I don't a few. See how any recommendations would be made unless you know what you want to do with that computer. I'm trying to think of any. I mean, I, I've got some general recommendations. Uh, Light Shot is what I use for a quick screenshot and yeah. line drawing on screenshots. So download that, use I mean, that. It is incredibly useful. I, I, I use always, it uh, all the time. I always get VLC just for it's, it's my number one. It, you, I say backup, but yep. it's my primary anyway. For just it's just an incredibly versatile media player. Yeah, it so, plays um, everything. Uh, what it's else? Got some good options in there. Discord, I guess. Um, but that's only if you use Discord, obviously. Uh, Steam, you know. Okay. Good. Um, I use Space Monger in order to, like, uh, deal with space things on your drives because it sort of visualizes the the drives you have and all the stuff that takes up space so it's easy for you to get rid of big things that you don't need anymore and it's very useful for me to just find stuff and get rid of it if i need to um and to know where things are so that's that's a recommendation i've got yeah um 4K video downloader, certainly up there. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, yeah. See, that's one of those ones where it's like, big. they probably will want that no matter what, right? Most people will find yeah, their way to downloading um, a YouTube video eventually. Uh, there's also the companion to it. The company who makes 4K video downloader, they make one for audio, uh, oh. which is very, very useful. In fact, I got the premium version. Does that mean it, um, they download YouTube videos into into audio, or does that mean something else? Yeah, it downloads the audio of a YouTube video. Okay. Um, That's bah, cool. bah, 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 bah. I use GIMP for just basic video editing, or sorry, not video editing, uh, image editing. Uh -huh. uh, but there's all kinds of different image editors, Photoshop's and yeah. uh, size and paint tools and things like that. So you should probably have one of those handy in case you need to doodle on something or draw or resize or flip or something like that. Uh, That's very useful. Yippers. And also, even though even though it comes with your PC, don't don't neglect the calendar. There's a calendar that comes with your PC that's very useful for just keeping up with things. It, you know, like a calendar, dates, times, things of that nature. Um, a very useful tool, an unsung hero of this world. Well, I think that's probably enough, isn't it? I think so. Oh, for a word processor, I use WPS. Uh, office. Um, I don't have any strong recommendation for it. I just that's just what I use, and it works fine. So, I feel like a, a lot of my recommendations just out of I haven't looked into all of what even. I just know all my basic stuff, and it's been useful forever. I feel like I'm already entering my my old phase of that now, where I'm just like, oh, all this works. Leave me alone. I don't want to play with the new yeah, kids. Yeah. I hope Discord stays. I don't want to have stays... to learn a whole new this. Or yeah, like I, I hope Discord doesn't crash and burn, and we have to go to find some other. I don't know, social... What do you even call that? Social... Just communication platform, yeah. I guess. Because I was on TeamSpeak for, like, ages, and then I... I enough, remember that. Enough people were like, you gotta use Discord. TeamSpeak is old man. And I was like, oh, Fine. <laughs> Knives out to knife to meet you. Aha, <laughs> meet, meet spelt with uh -oh. M-E-E-A-T. Nice. I wonder if we'll watch that. Who knows? Because it's not even, uh, like, if, if literally nothing is I, out except that in that amount of time, we probably will. But if it's several things, or if we forget it even exists, you know, you know, like, Jurassic World Dominion. That was totally going to happen, right? But then it just absolutely. sort of didn't. Well, my what point is the... for the world or us? Kind of both. Like, I, because I didn't, uh, I never expected that I would have skipped over that one. But it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just naturally kind of happened. I didn't expect to skip over God. God, wow, Kong versus Godzilla. I was gonna say God versus Godzilla could be pretty cool. 
Um, so whether or not Knives Out 2 would be skipped or would be seen, because, you know, it wouldn't have been necessarily true that we would have jumped into watching Prey, but that, it was in the right space at the right time. So now it has yeah. been seen. Um, what is your ideal day of breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Uh, what, in, sorry, can you say what, what's the ideal meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Well, it's kind of just what is your ideal day of breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I guess that means that. Oh, gosh. Um, well, let me see. Ideal day. Um, not a day to repeat infinitely, but an ideal day. I really enjoy a nice, simple breakfast. Maybe well, you can't eat too much at the beginning. That's the thing, because you want to save some. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Let's start off with bacon, hash browns, and some eggs uh, poached. And let's do that for breakfast. Nothing fancy. Ooh, eggs benedict. Let's do that. Let's do some eggs benedict. Cumberbatch? Um, huh? Cumberbatch? Yes, eggs cumberbatch. Let's do some eggs cumberbatch. Mm -hmm. And uh, a bit of bacon and some hash browns. And that sounds really good. Mm. For lunch, we want to have something somewhat light because we've got a dinner coming. So maybe just uh maybe just a, a nice chili small Caesar salad with some a little bit of chicken in there and a good iced tea for uh for dranklaging. Uh and same thing for no breakfast, we gotta have some milk. So a glass of milk for breakfast unsweet iced tea with the salad for lunch for dinner um ooh, that's tough there's a lot of dinners i like i'd have to think i'm is, big is into it gonna steaks. be steak i figured steak yeah the, it's hard to beat a good steak i love um i love hibachi grill stuff uh japanese food is good so i could go for some of that really hearty uh and yummy licious I got, I got, I got nothing interesting to say on this topic. I would rather just defer to being like, yeah, what he said, I guess. I don't know. I've never, just don't think that much about my ideal. We've talked about favorite food before, I guess. Um, There's many foods I like. I could be happy yeah. with all kinds of stuff, but there are always some things that just make my. I mean, nothing makes my mouth water like a, like a big steak. Maybe in a, a really good burger. Um, but I do I'd love take my... a lot of things over a steak, honestly. Like I'd take pork, chicken, um, turkey. I I'd take a lot of things over steak. Yeah, but you're not an American. <laughs> no, lots of people like steak here too. I'm just I don't know. I'm not as big a fan. I don't dislike it. It's just I would rather eat most meats, uh, like most I guess staple big like meat types over it. Turkey's okay. We um, uh, are you talking about maybe like a, a like a deli turkey or or like a Thanksgiving style turkey with the gravy uh, well, and everything? I mean, I, like you can get like turkey rolls where it's just like it's, it's not the actual like big old bird sitting on the plate. It's just like a turkey roll with like the turkey breast. That it's like it's sliced like, and yeah. rolled up, or I don't know how they do it. But it's just okay. kind of like a big old, like plonk, you know, thing of meat, <laughs> just <laughs> but not the actual, you know, turkey itself, like not the bird sitting on the plate, you know, not like a chicken, like a rotisserie chicken, like, uh -huh. where it's just the whole chicken and everything. I I'm just a, love to eat animals. I'm a big fan of chicken. Chicken's a really cool guy. Chicken is probably my favorite. Yeah, it'd be my favorite. Uh. I think, Chicken I think, is certainly up there. It's reliable and versatile. I would hang out My with the rest of them, omelet. but chicken is the... I'd marry chicken. I like it in omelets. I get, um, I get an omelet with a grilled chicken and mushrooms in it uh, mm. often. Yummy. And chicken Yummy. on pizza? It's very good. Uh, petition for Mauler and his childhood anecdotes to be referred to as smaller. Nice. I'll do it if I remember. More like, 
recaller. I get it. Today is Wednesday, July 27th, 2022. Well, not too far off, eh? Not too far. Um, update. Got through episode 5 of Hill House. That ending bit was one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen. Holy crap, can't wait for episode 10 to ruin it. Oh. <laughs> well, um, yeah, uh, you guys remember episode 5 is Nell's episode, which, uh, has quite a terrifying yeah, ending. Yeah. Well, hey, enjoy episode 6. That one, that one would have come next. Maybe they'll update us, who knows. Uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever will get good reviews, otherwise you're racist and everyone will love Marvel again. I wish it would die like other genres, but wishful thinking. I don't even want to try and predict what will happen with this one this time around. I have no idea. I'm not so sure. Yeah, I don't know. Could be anything. Could even flop. Who knows, really? I don't. So I probably wouldn't put money on it flopping. I'd be like, it's gonna, it's gonna do fine? It'll probably, probably make a lot of money. It might make the most money. Oh, yeah, I suppose an interesting question is, will it make more than Thor? Will it make more than Doctor Strange? It's like, well, hmm. when you consider that the first Black Panther was, like, made... Um, it's one of the most successful standalone movies. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it did really well. Yeah, um... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, if it if it does the best, like if it makes 1.5 billion, I'll be like, oh, wow, okay. Sure. But if it makes like 500 million, I'd be like, oh, wow, okay, sure. It's gonna be my reaction both right. times. Diabeto would absorb Boogie and Wings to become Diabetron Prime. Diabetron Prime? <laughs> be the coming of the new multiversal terror. Ah. Uh, please tell me you guys saw the trailer for Indian Forest Gump. I've seen clips on Twitter. Um. Indian Forest Gum? Yeah, it looks funny. I don't like know. What's... Bollywood? Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it's like a. They... Are they self aware about it? I assume they are. Like they're fucking around? I don't know. Or is it like a jit and they're just like, no, it's a very meaningful story and you will take it seriously? Uh, could you check out the Pokemon Toxic Ro... Toxicroak? It's my favorite and I want to see if feelings are valid. Appreciate you all massively. Alright. Let's have a look at Toxicroak. All right. Uh, Toxic I guess they just croak. want us to review him for the way he's drawn slash looks, his design. That's interesting. Um, copy, paste it here. Um, he doesn't. Hmm. I'm pretty meh on it. I'm also meh on it. It's enough like I a frog. By yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's right on that verge of being too much going on, but it's still frog-like. But it's not super frog-like. Um, meh. Yeah, it's fine. He's fine I have with no me. Strong opinions on this Pokemon. I also, do not have strong opinions. He's very happy though, or maybe. Very angry. It's like hard to devious, say. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, highlighted super chance. Two dollars well spent. Yeah, you get a little star stuff on him. How nice is that? Uh, Froggle, you'll get to see Secret Wars slash Invasion. Ooh. Yeah, I guess. What, so. what, 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 well, I, I guess the Avengers movies we been saying or, or are they wait which one's which I can't remember it is Secret Wars one of the Avengers films Secret right? Wars is the Avengers one Secret Invasion is like a TV show <sighs> yay hello fellow massives is, uh, is it out of character for the protagonist of Fight Club to be completely okay with watching buildings fall watched it for the first time not that long ago and didn't like the ending hi rags hello um, talking about the protagonist of Fight Club, is that what they said? Well, we got a narrator, but yeah, they still intend for us to uh, do a do an Adam and Sitch episode related to that film. So when they do, I will rewatch it. My references for Fight Club are very, very thin at this moment in time. Um, for a second there, I had to think about 
the visual of the ending, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember now. And then I was like, oh wait, what's the what's the main character going through at that point? And I, and I was like, oh fuck, I need to rewatch it to be able to answer that question. Well, because that was just like, like one minute earlier, he just killed Tyler, so... Well, spoilers for a 24-year-old movie, but <laughs> yeah. But I can't quite remember what he said, and that's, uh, yeah. you know, before, before that either, so... That's another thing I would have to rewatch to give references. Um, I'm catching up on the Halo TV fab. I'm surprised you guys never brought up the fact that after Vin Vincia's death, who's Vincia? He's like the evil Madrigal guy. Oh, uh, Vin after Vincia's death, Madrigal is left without a ruler. Oh, I mean, a lot of things I, that we probably I guess didn't the bring up. Is that, that thick. Quad's gonna take over and, and lead the <laughs> rebellion or the insurgency to victory. Yeah. She's gonna want to change some things, like Leia. Yay! Um, but yeah, th that goes to show as well, I, I don't even remember that guy's name. You know, he was evil. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was evil. About he was very evil. evil. He was very yeah, evil. He was evil. Uh, Carly. All equal, all are equal in death, comrade. Bang. What would have made you want to send that at this point? Were we talking about Falcon and Soldier? I do not remember. Wanda did nothing wrong. Hail Hydra. Oh no. Uh, they appear to trap all manner of eldritch abominations, so Mauler should fit in a Pokeball for sure. Mauler, he used long. It's super effective. I probably have, um, Bind would be one of the moves, right? Where it shows, like, the... Is, uh, what Pokemon have Bind? Is it like Constrict? Constrict, that's another one, yeah. Oh yeah, is Bind the effect it has? I remember Bind comes up. I think up. it's something like that. Um, but yes, but Constrict. There's like, there, I think there's Tentacle Wrap is one. Hey, yeah, I'd be doing that. Which is not a... Yeah, that thing, I think that's something like that. Um, um, I don't know. Uh, long Splain, that would probably be something I could do. Uh, the Boys Season 3 had Huey get so distracted that he accidentally burnt toast in a toaster. How did no one think to have him cooking on a skillet instead? I'm very confused by this. I don't even remember that happening. <laughs> or, uh, I don't know if, you had if, if this is from, like, Season 3. He accidentally burnt toast in a toaster. I mean, that happens to people. I was about yeah, to say, that, that doesn't, that doesn't sound that unusual to me. time with a toaster... Yeah, like like numbers one through ten on the toaster dial, and he said it's like, what is six? Is six like you know? Because not every toaster is the same. Yeah, uh, I guess it's on. You wouldn't expect it. Maybe I guess it's just why this person's like, what? Why did you have him do that? He's he's a, kind of an idiot throughout the season anyway. But uh, it's all good, right? The Accords, from what I understand, basically make the difference between police and vigilantes. Uh, what would what would be cool is if they continued the idea. Heroes as weapons of war, justify use of force. Yeah, for the people, this is what I mean about the people who complain about how the Accords are not in any way perfect. You should be like, yeah, man, they are not perfect and they're going to have to chisel away at all the different elements of it over time. Um, well, it's the nature, of, the nature of tackling new problems, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, but th I really do think that that kind of sums it up. It turns the vigilantes into official sort of uh, agents of of government to an extent, which is, it means they'll have protections and approaches for for everything to do with bureaucracy, red tape, course, and collateral damage. If things go wrong, there's channels. Yeah, and and, and I saw some people it's saying like, you mean they can get away with more? And it's like, uh, possibly, depending on corruption or just the way the justice system works, or the agreements that are made with people who defend the country in terms of violent ways and stuff. You know, there's, it's incredibly complex and. They could have gone that direction. Civil War could have been the first of many films that uh, we start exploring how complex all of this is, but uh, they but dropped it. We don't it. give a shit. <laughs> we don't care. It's too difficult. You see, they dropped it to do the blip, and then they dropped that to do multiverse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, going great. Um, countries that refuse heroes entry because they do not trust the UN or Overwatch body as imperialist organization all ideas that are still relevant today high rags yeah you yeah, can make incredibly interesting films where um, a country refuses 
the help of the heroes because they see them as like an excuse for other countries to just uh, take control of situations or something. I don't know. And then you have to do the whole cap. What do we do? Do we do we still go in? And he's like, hmm. I don't know. I can't believe they didn't give us the payoff of the uh, Vigilante Avengers and the sort of government-approved Avengers fighting together Let's against something. Like, come on. That's, that's just, it was right there and it's already gone. It's like, nice. Good job. Morality doesn't exist in a state of survival. I disagree. What do you guys say? Say what? Morality doesn't exist in a state of survival. That's not is, true. I mean, it exists. Of course, I mean, it exists. It doesn't go away. Of course, away. it exists. Morality, morality would have developed during hunter gatherer times. There are there are choices you make during survival that you may not make normally, but yeah. they're still going to be things you consider. And I guess the ethics. How of. broad do we want to go when we talk about survival? Right, like everything you do in a sense is about your survival, but you still make good choices. You still make moral choices. Well, someone said just said you need to be alive to be moral, right? It's like yeah, but there are plenty of people who would choose death before several other what they would consider immoral yeah. choices. A lot you know, of stories talk about that heroic sacrifice, and you know. Yeah, not looking to be modern. grim by giving examples, but there are a lot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mula, please keep that PFP. Uh, I don't know which one you're referring to. If it's this one, then you're in luck. It's on at least for now. So... Thoughts on the new Mission Impossible trailer? Oh, I haven't seen it. It looks cool, but, I mean, obviously there's not much to latch onto right now. I think this might be one where I'm gonna see it no matter what, so I might avoid the trailers, I'm not sure. Dun, dun, it's, it's kind dun, of odd dun, to release a trailer like a year before the film's coming out, though. Wasn't it leaked or was it released? No, I, I well, I think it got leaked, but it would have been leaked because they had a trailer that they were gonna release. That's so, fair, yeah. regardless, the trailer was probably gonna be coming out well ahead of the film. Which is weird, yeah. Don't be building that hype just for it to sort of peter out. And then build back up. Uh, next Mission Impossible feels like MGS the film. Hmm. Uh, uh, I, I mean, maybe. <laughs> I don't know enough about Metal Gear Solid. And I haven't seen the trailer. So, uh, who knows? Yeah. Want to see Rule of Cool, right? Watch any movie. Uh, I mean, I'm not exactly. It's kind of not all. In in terms I mean, of I'd... someone will find something cool in pretty much anything, right? It's there's going to be somebody. Yeah, I suppose. Some people think all sorts of things are cool. Some people think Sonic's cool. What? Shadow's cool, not Sonic. Exactly. Get it right, people. Who likes the blue one rather than the black one with red streaks and stuff? Gosh, there's some weirdos out there. Jordan Peele recently responded to a Twitter post saying he was the greatest horror director ever by saying there's, like, many others better than him. I saw that, yeah. Uh... Well, uh... I think it was, uh... Oh, I, I, have you not seen it? I haven't seen the tweet, no. So, I think it was, um... I think it was a guy who made that Shh, let people enjoy things comic. Like, I think that was the guy who tweeted. And he said, like, oh, can we all, like, agree that Jordan Peele is, like, the greatest horror director pointing out that he had three films back to back that were well received critically and then yeah he, uh, Jordan Peele replied to like smack that down well that's to, you know nice and humble of him I guess yeah, it's... I guess it's you know you've made three movies that are good you're one of the greatest direct and of course then um, you've got the enlightened take about the, the uh listen the I am of the output had you said, like, Get Out is one of the greatest movies, I'd be like, eh, okay, 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 I'll allow it, because, like, yeah, it, you know, plenty of people, but us, the watch. day you guys see that, you're going to be blown away by how that yeah. film is celebrated in any way. Oh, is that the, is that the plan, that we're going to see that? Oh, one day, yeah. Is it's it it's, it's, it's oh, pretty okay. perfect for fat movies, I would say, once you find out oh. what the fuck's going on in it. Everybody I've talked to who's seen that it. film, once they, once they, uh, d d quote unquote reveal the reality of the situation in that world. Uh they're just like, how can any of this make any sense at all? Um but you know, sometimes you just don't need to care about that, right? Sometimes I feel like you nobody's just... talked about really cool. uh, Nope. Nobody's talked about that. I saw a, a bit of discussion for about two days and then it was gone. And then yeah. Oh so, yeah, that's it. 
Do not know. Um, Phase 5, Star Wars, Rey and Marvel, Scarlet Witch become friends across dimensions, sending each other a pair of pants to wear, and Black Widow will find love. Alright. Could be good. Get excited. Enough Phase 4. Phase 5 is where it's at. Um, raccoons are chicken-killing, egg-stealing bastards, unalive on sight. I bet a lot of things would kill chickens and steal eggs if we're gonna if that's our line. I feel like we're really ruling out a lot of chickens. Just uh, uh, there's a lot of animals who are bastards. Chickens are just so easy for other animals to kill. I guess you know, like chickens just they haven't got a lot of good defenses. They they sort of they really don't sort of run, and that's about that's about that. Uh, watch Super Pets film best DC thing since the Suicide Squad. I can believe it. Sure. Yeah, I got no <laughs> it, interest in it though. It probably is. Oh, I want to watch it. Yeah. Greetings, Fringy, you actual racist. Please make more YouTube videos. Yeah, I've watched all your stuff three times now, and I'm not, still not bored. Oh, right, thanks. I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. You didn't deny the whole racist part either. I thought that was interesting. I I figured it was clearly and patently false, and everybody could see that. True. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Aztec-inspired design of the Atlanteans in Black Panther 2? I think it looks cool. Yeah, it looks neat! Um, until I see more of it, I don't really have much to say other than, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it, it works out well, you know? They had some weird choices for design of the world in Black Panther. Let's hope the Atlantean designs are all way cooler and better. -er. Take my money, Wombos. Oh, and high rags. Oh, hello. Favorite episode of Angel Season 5? Finale. Yeah, um, I'd go with the finale. That shit is uh, pretty good. Put it that way. Close runner-up, Hole in the World. Close runner-up, Smile Time. <laughs> smile Time smile. certainly puts a smile on my face. This is a miracle of an episode and everyone should see it. Yeah. And you will see it eventually, Rags, and you'll love it. Okay. Do you think Disney are dumb enough to do another Fantastic Four origin movie? Also, high rags. Hello. Um, dumb enough? Um, I don't know if it's a matter of being dumb, especially if you um, are, are looking to reset a bunch of stuff or maybe try and start a new phase or section of your sort of universe or something, then it makes sense you'd want to maybe try and do those characters, but well, obviously, what they're good movie. referencing at this point is we have the Fantastic Four movie with uh, Jessica Alba, and then the Fantastic Fan Forstic movie, and both of those are or well, we we see the origin in both of those. So it's like, so surely we don't want to do it again. It's like, um, I don't know. I don't know what the smart decision there is. I know that like with Spider Man, you wouldn't want to see another Spider Man exactly, or another Spider Man origin story. The thing is, um, I don't know how much in. The zeitgeist fan stick is... How many people even know what happened in that movie other than it's a meme? I don't think many people watched it. Meanwhile, like, I never The Amazing Spider-Man and Raimi Spider-Man, they have very similar uh, origin stories, if you will. And so I could see why they were like, we don't want to do that again. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the smart decision is exactly with Fantastic Four, whether or not they should do we join them in their prime or soon after they were made. Um, I think, isn't, isn't there a rumor about how they're going to start it up from well after they've got their powers and everyone's worried about how that's going to make I, Ben... I don't know. I remember people seeing, like, talk about how Ben Grimm's not going to work if we don't have him characterized before he becomes a thing. Um, right. Right. Obviously, yeah. you have the option of flashbacks. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll give them a shot, whatever they end up with, I suppose. Um, you were playing Portal and brought up EFAP Wish Upon. I noticed in the recording that I'm pretty sure one of you laughed so hard you farted. <laughs> it's very possible. I was going to say I wouldn't deny the possibility. Party. Have you seen Wish Upon? For you, I always forget. I saw your coverage of it. Oh, okay. Like I said, it's, it's a bit of a dream <laughs> for me, I think, that we grab a whole bunch of people who haven't seen Wish Upon and do another EFAP movies on that. Uh... I don't even know how 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 it would go again, but uh, 
I want to see some more people be exposed to that incredible movie. I'm planning on throwing my hat in the ring of making critique videos. How do you guys rip footage from streaming services for your videos? Hi, Rags. Hello. YouTube is your best friend, just saying. It's, uh, especially nowadays, it's actually unreal how much uh, people get away with in terms of uploading clips on YouTube. Um, I guess the idea is the companies now don't want to stamp on them too hard. Instead, they'll just monetize their video and use it as promotion. I don't, I don't know if it's that level or not. Um, I know that Disney... Disney are now, like, one of the most lax with uh, copyright out of all the companies. Which is handy, considering they're... They strangle hold over, over media, so our, our coverage doesn't get in trouble. But, like, one of the worst ones was Universal. Um... Yeah, there's, there's obviously ripping stuff locally. Um, you, you, I don't know what the legalities of all of it are, though, so I would, would recommend being careful about any of these sorts of things. Um, but yeah, you, you'll, you'll be able to find ways, look into different options. Um, but if you're having a huge amount of trouble finding anything, I would, I would just start with YouTube. YouTube what you're looking for, and you might just find it. Uh, any chance we'll ever get some complete breakdown EFAS for older movies if there's time? If so, The Prestige and Interstellar would be my top picks. Ah. I don't know. I guess it's going to be up to whether or not you guys would want to do that sometime. Hmm. I'll defer to the crowd as they decide. The crowd of two people? Yes. <laughs> Um, well, the company, but I'll defer to the company. Um, I'm going to fill up my drink and I'll be right back. Will you decide? Very well. Interstellar is so overrated. <laughs> How could you say that? Mean. Um, I mean, you know, you know, some would say that you're not wrong about um, that, but I don't know who those people are. Neither do I. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like the idea, and it may happen. Because didn't Underwater come out, like, a while back from when we covered it? I think it did. It wasn't I brand we new, were, right? Uh, yeah. We were some months behind on that one. It's not like there's, it's an impossibility or anything, and that we never have a chance to do so. We'll think about it. Uh, Morley, you're going to play the game Stray? He plays a cat in a cyberpunk world. I've done... Two and a half hours on it. You can find it on my uh, playlist for playing games. Though I would say it didn't um, it didn't capture me very much to the point where I haven't been compelled to play on. Though I might at some point, maybe if uh, if I'm not too distracted by playing slash doing other things, which is quite possible. Um, Fringy, please say. Oh, well, I guess I'll post this for you. Do, do, do. There you are. I don't want you to say that. Um, that was the moment I knew what I had to do. I took down Endgame, and I made my goo. Unrelated, of course. And one day I'll get my win. Presumably a meme. Do not know. I presume it's a meme. Uh, wouldn't it surprise you to know that the brain-eating amoeba came from the same place that gave us the gimpy gimpy plant? Brain-eating amoeba. That sounds wonderful. There's some things on Earth that it's like, maybe, yeah, they're um... Yeah, very scary. Jeez, imagine what that as, like, a storyline where aliens visit, and they're very... they're having a lot of trouble understanding. The communication's very, very oof. But they just, you know, during uh, negotiations, and it's all very peaceful, one of them does... Probably. That'll probably have to be That the should be door. okay. But let's see what happens now. But F's indeed. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Um, how are we doing there? Hmm. Someone says we're back. We are back, are we? Good. Back. Excellent. Fantastic. Magical. You were saying? I don't even know what I was... Uh, like an alien catches a disease, but they just don't understand how that works at all, so they just assume it's an attack from humans. Like, that could be a, a way something starts up. 
like a I would imagine that biological disease warfare. And, disease and viruses and stuff are probably seems like they'd probably be universal, universal. components of life. What if they were? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, guess some maybe. interesting. Maybe they wouldn't be. It just seems like they would be. Is all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I would. If yeah, I would imagine they probably are pretty universal. Are you not fond then of the uh, the. The, the aliens getting beaten by the common cold and, uh, you know, the tribal. Um, oh, well, I mean, that's just because, uh, I, th just because, like, diseases and stuff are a thing that would probably be, like, present everywhere doesn't mean that that, I mean, of course, there would have been illnesses in, like, South America, right, in, in the Americas, but then you get introduced to a new illness and it just wipes you out. Well, yeah, so but you'd think still... that uh, if it's the flu that gets them... that the cold might be incompatible with an alien, though? <laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. Oh, I was going to go the angle of if they're aware, then you'd think they would be aware oh. enough to protect themselves from like, oh, yeah, the cold. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't... I'm not sure how I feel about that, that, like, super advanced aliens would get wiped out by an illness. That they what about probably getting wiped out by water them. in signs? Yeah, water. Yeah, but that's... Well, that one's, I would say that that one's a lot worse. You've gone to a planet that's majority um, water. Okay, so you're, doing the, you're, doing the, you're doing the meme criticism. It's wrong. That's the bad okay. criticism. You're doing it wrong. It, okay. We uh -oh. Humans are totally fine to go to a planet filled with stuff that's toxic to them. It's the part where we're, they're not you wearing anything protective. From it. That's yeah. the thing. Oh, well, sure, but I, I was saying that with reference to the fact that they went there with no protection at all. Well, because, like, everyone would say, like, why would you go to a planet with stuff that kills you on it? And it's like, we're on a planet with stuff that kills us. <laughs> we just try to avoid that stuff. Um, sure, but, so, but the, the thing is, the water's everywhere. Like, it's in the air. Like, I don't, you know, I don't... Yeah. I'm not sure why you would be going to a planet where the Well, who knows why the they went to the planet, right? We never got to find out. No steps to protect themselves. That's the part that's the problem. It's not the fact that they went there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, isn't uh? M I mean, Mars attacks gets this right, sort of. Yeah, because they're wearing helmets and shit. They got the helmets. And then the yeah, it's the sound frequency, right? Music. We should watch yeah. that movie. That's a funny movie. The movie is really silly. Tis. Uh, Digimon of the day, Behemoth. Behemoth. All right, um, give me a second yeah, here. Seven. Oh, right. You can't just type in that. You gotta type in Digimon. <laughs> Digimon Behemoth. It is all monsters. Uh oh. Oh, God. He's edgy. <laughs> oh, look How at him. How is that even a Digimon? That's just someone's <laughs> OC. Yeah, that's just that's some just guy being like. OC. Ain't this cool? Oh, look at him. And then they call him Behemoth. That's a cool name. I'm a stallion, and my he has name cool is guns. Leviathan. He's a cool motorcycle and a cool look. Yeah, that's mad. Everything is How so is that edgy. A... <laughs> that's not a Digimon. It's so that's... funny that that's, a... that's apparently a Digimon. <laughs> you just grabbed some guy <laughs> and put him in the thing. Hey guys, I'm a Digimon. He's like, no, you're not. You're, you're just, just lying. Dude. Yeah, Lying isn't cool. Okay. I Ragsus, Mauler, Hello. and all you Ewoks. Hello. I've been in a hellish place of dread for a while now. Haven't had a laugh or anything in a long time. Your Gothic phone stream had you in stitches. So thanks a million for that. Would love to see more soon. Oh, that's, oh, that's great. Good I'm to really hear. Glad, uh, hear about uh, the up. circumstances, but glad that, yeah, glad we can make you laugh. Yeah, we, we're hoping to get a bit more Gothic phone on the anniversary, probably. Um, the last anniversary, we just oh, randomly I'd... jumped into it, so I don't see I why bet. not. Absolutely. 24 was... hours. 24 hours of Gardic Phone sounds like a good plan, yeah. Let's do it. 24 hour Gardic Phone stream. I have to draw more Sanix. Uh, and that's that's it for the catch-up for, for that episode. Now we're on to the catch-up for the following one. Hey guys, just thought I'd let you guys know, a lot of your stuff has been age-restricted. For example, only part two of the TLJ critique is up. I know this because work has forced restricted on me. I don't think there's anything can be done when they age restrict. Um, and to be fair, I tend not to think of even pushing back on age restrictions on some of the stuff we do. Um, I wonder if that's it's probably fair, you know, some of the stuff I guess said. You know, I'm just saying. Mm. Um, though I'm surprised one of the TLJ critiques would get 
age restricted. I uh, don't even have swear words in them. So I'd be curious what could possibly flag it. Um, maybe footage of like horror movies if I ever have them. Um, I don't know. But yeah, um, as far as I know, uh, they're fine though. I feel like I would have uh, been more aware of it if they were like. Uh, age restriction is only stopped if you don't have like a profile signed into YouTube, right? That it, you can still watch stuff if you have a profile. I think so. I'm I'm not certain. All right. Uh, will you guys cover the new Resident Evil TV show? It has the best villain in Resident Evil cinematic history. Oh, no. Nah, not really. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. That's such a. I mean, that what an accolade to be the greatest Resident Evil villain. Um, yeah, I'm on board with covering it for EFAP TV. Absolutely, I am legitimately interested. We got to cover the movie and the show. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll be dragging Fringy into it. Seems that way. Oh, absolutely. Hey all, I just finished all four campaigns of Shovel Knight, and I highly recommend it if you haven't played it. Anyway, take my money, Dumbos. Thank you very much. Thanks. Shovel Knight is quite cool. I've heard good things about Shovel Knight. It do have a good rep. Do. Uh, I think I played it ages ago and liked it. I just don't have any memory of it now. Walmart Christmas EFAP movies arc when? <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be something <laughs> if that happened. KFC is the best outside USA and Canada. Also, hi, doggy. Hello. What happened to the KFC in US and Canada? I guess it just became nasty fast food franchise bullshit. Oh. oh. I don't know. I haven't been in ages. Um. Well, you know. So sorry. That's all right. I mean, mm -hmm. plenty of places to go. I mean, yeah. if you want good fried chicken, you are not going to have a problem finding good fried chicken. It just won't be at the place that has it as its namesake. Hmm. Uh, gonna check out Arcane's behind the scenes docuseries tomorrow. Waiting for it all to come out, which I think it'll be another like four weeks or something. Then I'll give it a look see. Bringy, I know I play pranks on you, like getting rags to put a witchetty grub on your little sausage, but you are a true blue Australian hero, mate. Oh well, true blue Australian hero. That's nice. <laughs> The witchy grub joke. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Uh, what in the flim flam is this? Uh, oh, paleontologist here. Prehistoric animal of the day, Liviatan Melville. Also, hi, green Jedi bird. Oh, oh you're a Jedi. You're not gonna green Jedi bird. Hmm. I'm, I'm blue right now. They didn't know that. That's true. So this is the image that pops up. I, I'll i check and see if this is accurate. It's just a terrifying image. Um, yeah, it looks like it's I a whale it's with the teeth. guy on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and is that to scale with a blue whale? Wow. It's big. I'm not certain what the scale is. I can check real quick, but it seems to be a whale-looking critter with big fucking teeth. It's like an evil whale. If whales were evil, <laughs> well, if you went I to mean, the evil orcas... universe... Well, d <laughs> this I, I mean, are, are orcas evil whales, or are they just They're killer whales. whales? They are. That's Not true. all killers are evil. We know this. Let's see. Let me check and see how big he is. The teeth. Oh fuck off! It said I was looking for numbers, and it said the teeth were about one and a, uh, one point two feet. Um, it was about forty four to fifty seven feet long. Um, so it would wanna... be smaller than a blue whale because blue whales are thirty meters, which is bigger than fifty yeah. feet. But okay, you add in the Still teeth, big. and you're like, oof. Yeah, still, still pretty big. And random fun fact: the Rings of Power subreddit versus the House of the Dragon subreddit. You got uh, thirty-five thousand members in the Rings of Power one. In the House of the Dragon one, you got four hundred and fifty-three thousand. You know what? That doesn't shock me in the slightest, and I've only seen two episodes. Uh, 
I mean, maybe it's like there's an established heavy Game of Thrones presence on Reddit, but the thing is, it probably is one for Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings. and those people will probably have a big crossover, so... Can't help but feel like it is difficult to discuss Rings of Power in a positive way, because it's like, oh man, I can't wait for Nori to bump into Galadriel yes. and say hello. Oh my goodness, look at you, you're so tall. And then, I oh god, I can't wait for Galadriel to say, like, I've known briefly your people follow the trail. Though I believe that you, young Nori, could not. Never not feel ashamed for not following the trail. You have a wanderer's heart, Nori. Ugh. Probably a line. Yeah. I can sense that you too are not like other girls. And then she holds up a little stone. She's like, do not be like the stone. Drops it into a pond. Stone looks downward, Nori. You look up. She, yeah, she recreates the thing. My brother once told me why the stone sinks and a boat floats. And when did he tell Maybe you? Maybe she like doesn't even know what a boat is. A thousand years ago. To Nori? Maybe she doesn't, yeah. She only read about Nori it in books. She thinks not. they're fictional. Yeah. You can't put... It, it is kind of preposterous that you could take like all of these things and it just floats on the water. That's Absurd. crazy. Like, like a Johnson. ship made of metal? That doesn't make any sense. It's nonsense. Yeah breaking physics all the time. Ridiculous. What dated movie would be better if remade on a lower budget? My pick is Eraser with Arnie, remade with less sci-fi action and more political intrigue and suspense. Is that even necessarily a budget thing sometimes, though? That seems like a It's choice. probably not, ne not necessarily, but I feel like if you have a lower budget, you might feel more pressured to avoid certain things, like expansive action sequences, but, uh, potentially. Maybe. I just... I if know. I was making a low-budget movie, there's definitely things that I'd say, hey, we just don't have the money to do X, Y, Z. We're going to have to focus more on the writing. We're going to really have to focus hard on the writing more than before because it's all we got, bitches. I just, I'm going as far as saying, like, have you ever watched a film and thought, man, if only the budget were lower? It's always something else, right? You'd never say that. Yeah, I think that was just, I think I was just assuming like the spirit of the question, like what they yeah. might have meant by it. Well, in terms of remaking something and switching up its focuses, um, not sure. What, what, you got, you guys got any ideas? I, I've never thought about this. Like, what film do I less wish had less budget. money to realize itself? To realize less what budget it needs to, be? to maybe focus on. Yeah, I assume the less, uh, you know, bombastic super CGI parts. Um, because no one's gonna say if only there was a lower budget for Van Helsing, less action and more political intrigues. Like, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> what if you cut in? What if you did? What if they had to make a multiverse of madness and it had like half the budget or a third of the budget? Like, you um, asking what if it could be? But well, that's like the thing, right? If it became better, that's just like it it's not even got really much to do with budget. Choices. That's just them being yeah. like, oh, they yeah, but maybe to do the budget well. is is it got better? Obviously, not directly because of the budget, but because the budget was made smaller, they decided to take a different direction, and that well, ended up being better. The same thing have been said if they were if they're not allowed to go to the multiverse, <laughs> would that film then be good? Or it's like it'd probably be better. Yeah, it'd probably be better. I would just rather cut to the point of that, which is that they, what they were trying to do was executed badly, be it action or political intrigue, or just two characters having a chat. Uh, they also said, what dated movie? What dated movie? And I've always associated that with like films that show their age. So a dated movie with less budget? Yeah, well, what dated movie would you pick to be done with a lower budget in interest of trying to improve it? Just a, it feels like a strange question. It is a strange question. Would you, would you consider the prequels? Dated? Uh, maybe, because of the... Because some, some of it's pretty rough. Some yeah. of it's pretty good. Some of it's pretty rough. The thing is, though, I probably wouldn't care if, it was, if his script was really good, right? Whatever. Yeah. 
I'm being oh, cold so right that. now. All right, you guys carry on. <laughs> All right. The same way that, like, nobody... I mean, Toy Story 1, right? Like, looks uh, worse than Toy Story 4. But I can tell you which film I'd rather watch. I don't think... Uh, I don't think it matters, really, how... Uh, how dated it is as long as the script is really good. Because, like, a good script is timeless in a sense. I'm still, like, I'm still kind of stuck. I don't know what, I don't know what I would pick. I don't know either. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm very curious, though, if we had the prequels, but there was less of an ability for George to put CGI in it, and he had to be a lot more, I guess, picky and choosy with it. And it, it, and maybe that would end up sort of forcing right, him like, to pay more attention to the dialogue and the characters and stuff because he had to I lean on that, them more. That I think that it might be, be the spirit of the question. I think, yeah, I think I agree. It would be maybe having all of the resources in the world, maybe having some restrictions is a good thing. Um, if, if those restrictions come in the form of a reduced budget, that means that you have to make some conscious choices. You can't do everything you want. You can't have a reaction scene that you want. Maybe that does yield a different, um, I guess the funny part is that people complain about, like, the Phantom Menace having too much politics in it. <laughs> so I wonder, Wrong. I wonder what, um, well, I, yeah, I think, um, I don't think people would be saying that if it was good. So that's, that's probably at the root of it. Um. Hmm. What I'm thinking is that, yeah, um, because what because when you go to a movie, you don't you don't think necessarily, oh wow, this movie was so good because it had a uh, such a good budget. A, you know, you don't budget, think about yeah. the budget. You you might notice it as a result of what you see, but there's not many movies. I, I mean, maybe. Maybe like Avatar would be one of those sorts of movies where you're just you're kind of blown away by it, you know? Yeah, um, like a, the spectacle of it all. Yeah, a spectacle. I mean, there's films movie. like that for sure throughout history where it's like, man, this is a big movie. Um, but I mean, there are films that are really expensive that don't feel big at all, um, which is interesting. And meanwhile, there are films that are surprisingly cheap, relatively speaking, that feel big. Um, Hello. and especially if we're thinking because dated movies, I guess it'd be with a reference to older films. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what I'd pick. What does it mean for a movie when it uh, feels like it came out 10 years ago, but it's new? Uh, it could either. So know. the first, the first thing that comes to my mind is like a kind of movie, like a trend in movies that were being made, whether it's an action movie trend or like a horror movie trend. Um, and so when one of those movies releases 10 years after that trend is sort of ended, you feel like, oh, this feels like a movie that should have came out 10 years ago. I think Bullet um, Time is one of those, right? People are like, Bullet Time? What is this, early 2000s? Oh my god. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, that's what comes to my mind first. It's not necessarily the appearance, but it's just sort of the kind of movie that was being made. Um, and then after that, it's the CGI. Like, oh, the CGI looks 10 years ago. Or looks 10 years old. However, we're getting to the point where CGI from 10 years ago was still pretty good. So I don't know how much longer we'll be able to say that is like an insult in a way. Like, especially with video games, considering how many AA level games I play these days, saying that, oh, this game looks like it's 10 years old. It just, that, that's just like a meaningless statement. It doesn't mean anything. Well, we said that about um. <laughs> By a team elite, right? Um, that it looked ten years old. Well, the whole thing, the whole package. It came across as a game from like two thousand eight. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it it felt like a game that you would buy on the Xbox Live Arcade. Remember that? I do. Or I guess it's still yeah, going, isn't it? Yeah, there's DLC out for it. We should go put no. No, that's all right. Uh, that's a shame. It was a game that could have been good. Sure. Oh. It's a game that could have been good. Probably old news, but did you check out Digibro's videos? One was about how he likes all of Marvel, then later made a call-out video in Critical Drinker's Thor video saying he didn't watch it. Critical Drinker definitely watched Thor. No way he could have known all that he do if he, uh, if he didn't. He, he, I'm assuming it's more of a, um, I thought it's like a, like a, a trying to expose a secret. It's more so just like an insult. Like, you didn't even fucking watch it. Yeah. Which, you know, 
Everyone gets that all the time. I even get that when it's clear that I've played the entire movie in my video. They'll they'll still say you didn't even watch it because what they mean is you didn't. It's like you heard but you didn't listen. Right? You saw but you didn't watch. Well, that's what people like to say. But no, I haven't seen those videos. Uh... You missed the sto you missed the film for the frames for the store it's something. Yeah. Anyone catch Nope thoughts? I did. I nope. thought it was the best of the three Peel movies, I think. There's a couple things in there that I like, but it's also nonsensical. He fucked up a whole bunch of stuff. He usually does, so... You know, it's sitting on the Peel scale at this point. Um, the Peel scale. I'm not even sure I'd recommend any of the three. Uh, I might recommend Us, just because it's so bad. Like, it's quite entertaining when you figure out what's going on. This is also... It's so weird about Peel. There's, there's some scenes and executions of things he has that are really creepy. Sometimes he can be, like, pretty good, but then also sometimes it's terrible. Or a lot of the time, I should mm. say. Uh. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Oh, and they follow up with saying, my, my little Sheba Dizzy uh, passed away. You guys get me through the long drives. Thanks oh. and hi, Rags. Hello. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Absolutely. You're doing right. Really, really uh. sorry, but I'm happy to help, but... Yeah, that's a, that's a shame that is a thing. Hi, fellas. If you could have one force power, what would it be? For example, telekinesis, telepathy, animal control, force lightning, or enhanced physiology? You didn't say force suggestion in there. Like mind control? Yeah. I guess that's what he means by telepathy. Would that be under that umbrella or no? I would, I would definitely consider those as two different things. What is tele telepathy so to you? Telepathy is being able to communicate with people mentally. It is not forcing them to do your will. Like, um, hmm. what would be a good example of a... a well, because, like, it's weird Professor, that X a is a, on it, but... Professor X is a telepath, is what he's considered, right? Yes, that's being yeah. able to speak to people using your mind. But, well, you can also you mind control people. Mind I control. think that is, yeah. that is a related but a distinct power. What's the umbrella term for both of them, then? I don't know what the umbrella term for both of them is, though. I maybe like a psychic. I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's kind of we start get to get into the sorcerer wizard thing. I think because um, those powers are similar, but they are definitely two different things. Yeah. All right. Well, either way, um, should we take that to mean that, or should we take it to mean just the communication? We'll just go with communication, that's what they said. So, so that means um, move stuff with your mind, speak to, well, communicate with people with your mind, control animals, use force lightning, or enhance your own physiology. I'm going to knock out force uh, lightning. Yeah, that's yeah, never going to come up, utility. I feel. Well, the irony well, is that it could simultaneously be the best one in the, it's an infinite energy generation that could help the world quite a bit, theoretically, right? But if we ignore that... I don't want to mess around <laughs> with it. Like... Most of the times we see it, it's like it fucks up an old man's face. So I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I just. It seems dangerous. Right, as long as you're not old, you'll be fine. Yeah, but I. It seems really dangerous. All right, we'll knock that out. Um, um, animal I mean, control makes me feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Like being able to. Seems call unfair animals. To the animals. Or... Seems I mean, it unfair. says animal control as opposed to animal sort of like mm. something. It'd be really useful like at when, a zoo. Well, it's kind of like when Aquaman or... sends all of those animals to die. Yeah, like it's it's not really fair to the animals. Like Anakin uses the bull alien creature to just start killing people with, right? Not necessarily. It's it's desires. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you going through the list, knocking them off. I'd just go for telekinesis. Like, telekinesis I'd, I'd seems that. like it's just incredible. I was, I was gonna knock off every day. Telepathy, because I find that I'm just fine using my normal communications, which yeah. would leave the enhanced physiology and telekinesis. And the only reason I would pick telekinesis is because I'm not entirely sure what enhanced physiology relates to. And if we're going by the films, it's like I can jump real high, I can run real fast. I think jumping real high and stuff was related to the force, specifically like telekinesis related, you know, like kind of using the force to propel yourself through the I air. imagine it's both, because you're going to need a better body sure. to be able to withstand a lot of the physics that happen with those things. Sure. Uh, I'd go telekinesis to me. Yeah. It's a fairly easy choice. Yeah, I think telekinesis is just going to be your generally far more useful thing that you'll be able to use every day throughout the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
Um, and plus, you can use it to just, you know, fool around with people. Not in a malicious way, but, you know, you could just... You, it's just yeah, like drop anvils on people and they go bonk, ow! Yeah, yeah, like the cartoons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I started watching Daredevil and I'm loving which makes... Wait, and I'm loving, which makes me even more scared of She-Hulk. That's fair. Well, yeah. Yeah, by the time people hear this, that will have happened. I hope it was good, mm -hmm. everybody. Uh-huh. This one just says, ah, hi, Rags. Hello. Sorry if y'all have discussed this before, but I was hoping to hear the call's thoughts on the possibility of Joker 2 being a musical. Also, hi, Rags. Uh, seems like, uh, hello, uh, first off, but it seems odd, but I'm curious. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I didn't want a sequel for Joker, but I will try. One of those, like, you know, I'm not going to dismiss it out of hand. And uh, my thing on musicals is I, I have the normal take of meh musicals. And then I was like, well, except this one and this one and this one. And it's like, wait, what's different about those? It's like, well, I think they're good. I'm like, oh, so it's not musicals at all. You just want things that are good. And it's like, yeah, so I don't care if something's a musical or not. Yeah, I guess I don't really care either. Um, I'm not generally into musicals, but there's some that I certainly like. I will be curious what uh, Gaga... Phoenix and Todd are going to do. Give them a mm -hmm. chance. Feel, I think the way I would put it is it feels like this one is way more ready to be fucked up than even the first one. And even that had a lot going for it that could have fucked it up. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. Oh, so we're right on time. Nice. <laughs> Talking about Shovel Knight reminds me. Look up Oolong from Shovel Knight. Truly a magnificent creature. Does that All sound right. familiar to anybody? Let me see. It's been a while since I played Shovel oh, Knight. Oh, he's an so. odd boy. Yeah, I'll just, uh... Because it's sort of a... just It has his sprite there. Oh, look at him go. <laughs> he is an interesting he fella. Like, yeah. He blinks and he scratches his head and... He had... Let's see... Okay. He admires Team Plague, huh? Good for him. I'm anti-plague. I'm not pro-plague, I'll I say that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm against plagues. Unless it's a, a plague of health, and health is just spreading through the land, and we just can't stop it. Oh my gosh, now everyone's getting healthy. Oh, man. Cover your mouths and don't shake hands or else you'll get health wouldn't want that like we got us a wings quote of the day not now grandma i'm working yeah i can believe that one mm -hmm. yeah, he's working very... he's working hard and he's playing card all right one thing people miss about grandma one thing people miss about comics is that they were originally about criminals like butch cassidy they only became about crime fighters when karen's complained untapped ground for genre commentary Huh. I mean, that's, I, I mean, if you're talking about like comics in general, there's a lot of comics that aren't superhero comics. They've just they took over almost as the face of comics. Um, I I would say uh, I I feel like it's kind of the same problem as when people think that like animation is strictly like for children. It's it's kind of like it's it's a it's a uh, medium, and there's a lot of and it depends on what countries you go to as well. I I guess I don't know if people would consider manga to be like comics but i i don't know why they wouldn't be that it's the same format or graphic novels anyway i say it's closer to people saying that animation at least 3d is pixar or something if you like um, it's way more than that i the funny thing is that you say that more and i feel like now that's kind of like not even a conception anymore like i don't know that pixar is that uh dominant anymore i'm pretty sure that just like the main disney studio like more consistently makes money than pixar does at the moment is there an awareness of that for, like, the average person? Um, I don't know. I guess I don't know if the average person looks at, like, Frozen and doesn't know if that's a Pixar movie or not. Um, I know, I, I know yeah, my um, family probably would, except for my animator family member. <laughs> um, but I guess on the, the... I guess they're talking about how, like, comic books originally, like, they started... It was the... Oh, it's comics code, wasn't it? I or forgetting about it. I'm forgetting the name for it. Like there was a change essentially in like the types of stories that were being told. That but I it guess sounds is, like uh, what would have happened is that 
they f had to find a way to continue the beating the shit out of things. So it's like, how do we do that? And it's like, make it so that they're good guys instead mm -hmm. of the bad guys. And that manages to get it past. But I mean, at this point, you know, it's almost like movies too. Superheroes are uh, clogging up everything. Maybe they won't forever though. Um, well, yeah, I mean, again, you gotta wonder when, like, you look at the most successful film of the year is not a superhero film, which, uh... In some ways surprising. it is. And, uh, Maverick's I my think, superhero. Pretty sure Jurassic World is also, like, one of the... I don't think it made as much money as the last two, though, so I, I wonder what that means for the future of I don't understand Jurassic how it brought World. back all the original characters. It did bring back all the original characters. Oh, uh, and I guess this is kind of because I read like yesterday that uh, Black Adam is actually expected to like open well and do well and make money. Okay, which, uh, I'll believe it when I see it. That's all. Yeah, I, it's kind of like man. I mean, if the <laughs> other hero, if heroes like Doctor Strange and Thor are not performing as well as they expect, how the yeah, fuck's Black Adam I going to? The real. Dwayne Johnson is a box office drawer. He just is. Was he a draw no, for the jungle no. adventure thing? Yeah. Yeah. How much money did that make? Jumanji? No, not that. The Jungle Cruise. Uh, I think that was one that got released on Disney Plus or the day and date release, so I don't know. But it wasn't also in theaters? Um, yeah, it might have been. I don't know. Um, but then I but guess I mean, it's not a perfect catch for him, is it? Uh... Well, sure, but I mean, if you have, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Rampage movie did well. Like, it had one of the biggest openings for, like, a video game movie, like, Rampage. An, an IP that nobody knows about, really. I didn't even know that but was Dwayne a uh, video game. It, yeah, oh. but Dwayne Johnson was in it, so it made a bunch of money. Well, yeah, no, I can believe that. I don't know that he's going to be in a, I mean, we've got Benedict Cumberbatch and Marvel behind Doctor Strange. Like, these are... That's true. Well, I mean, I didn't... I, I don't know that it's expected to make more money than Doctor Strange, but like if it makes like more than five hundred million, that would be a, a success, surely. Is that the Unless success they're looking for? Movie. They're probably looking for a bigger success than that, I would imagine. Um I imagine that there are pretty high expectations for this film, which is kind of funny when You're gonna go see all it? indications I'm I'm probably gonna see it, but that's more so out of like <laughs> A morbid curiosity for like what exactly this film is going to be. I'm a no, little I bit curious I'm... about what's what's DC doing right now, and maybe this film will answer that to a well, degree. Well, I think it probably will because it's got the Justice Society in it, which is like a different superhero team. It's kind of interesting that they would try to set up that team while also having the Justice League exist in this canon. I think there's a lot of speculation as well if Henry Cavill is going to show up as Superman in it. So like, it may well be indicative of the future direction of um, especially when you consider that there's no other DC films for like another six months they were meant to be four this year remember that now there's like two the rest of them got delayed or cancelled um oh but there was Super Pets which Dwayne Johnson was in and that didn't do very well at all so who knows I don't know I guess it's kind of like Black Adam you know like <laughs> I don't know how many people know who Black Adam is but I don't think it matters. He's not like other superheroes. But if you well, were to he, put that's the whole marketing shtick of the film is he's not like other superheroes basically. But it's it's not that good of a marketing shtick, I don't think. What uh, how many hundreds of thousands is this thing gonna make? Do you think? Oh, well, how much do I think it will make? Yeah. Um, I think it will make at least five hundred million. At least I don't know how much more it would make than that though. Maybe like maybe the ballpark would be like six hundred million. I could see that. I think I'd be surprised if it made more than that. What would surprise you for the low end? I'd be surprised if it made less than four hundred million. That would surprise me. We'll see. Yeah. Resident Evil show is peak EFAP TV show material. It's dumber even than the Book of Booba Feet. Uh, wow. I don't think I want to watch it. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> like someday. It Can't say guaranteed yes or no. I'm certainly curious myself. Uh, look up Arcanine Poodle. Alright. Oh, I've oh seen this God. guy. Popped up on Twitter at some point.
listen, I'll just pop it on the screen. There he is. Rag seems like he would be a soda jerk. I don't know what that means. Like, Do you who... know what a soda jerk is? No. Really? You never had that term? A soda jerk would be like... Uh, that would be the people who are behind the counters and like soda shops and milkshake companies and they work the machines. Um, it's... Let me... Uh, da, 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 da. A soda jerk or soda jerker is an American term used to refer to a person, typically a young man, who would operate this soda fountain in a drugstore preparing and serving soda drinks and ice cream sodas. So as those sort of, I guess those sort of died out and became something else, they um, sort of just not really a job you see anymore. I was going to say, I can't think and, of when I lost all of them. I don't, I don't think, I mean, you'd have to go to a place like, you'd have to go to a specialty place that's trying to be retro, I think, to see one. So you'd see them at a, like, a Silver Dollar City kind of location, a, an old school retro slash uh, days of your kind of store. Um, but yeah, you don't really see them anymore. I want to smack Hollywood in the gob for the belief that it's impossible to make good video game films. Slam dunks ideas, but they fumble it every time. Um, um, Arcane is going to be the big boy for that forever now, isn't it? It is the big boy, and I'm not sure that... I don't know. I think it's, it's, it's going to be tough to dethrone Arcane. Yeah. Well, um, I guess Cyberpunk 2077 people are reckoning about that. I've been saying that that one's good. Though um, I think we've had two Super Chats up to this point saying it's not as good as Arcane, so... Right, you know, which who am I to believe? Okay. Those two or other people? I don't know. Um, I think the impression I've always gotten is that uh, up until recently, a lot of films have been embarrassed uh, about being based on video games, and now they're starting to not be. And so that's yielding... I don't know if I'd say, like... The problem is that, I don't know, I look at, like, Uncharted. That's an incredibly generic bad movie. Um... And Mortal Kombat was like, there were parts of it that were entertaining, but then there were parts of it that were annoying, and even that film still felt a little bit embarrassed about what it was, which is really lame. I don't know if, what other ones were there. Um, I guess you got like Sonic the Hedgehog, which is a little more like willing to embrace what it is. Um, but otherwise, yeah, what else is there? Did anybody watch the Assassin's Creed one that had Michael Fassbender in it? I did. I haven't. I don't remember thinking it was good. I yeah, right. I never saw it. I never saw it. I don't think anybody really saw it. That was the. But I think they're making a Netflix show now for Assassin's Creed as well. So, um, hmm. I mean, it's it's up to them whether there's not there's nothing about Assassin's Creed that would lend itself poorly to Absolutely. being a show. There's very little about a lot of video games that have been chosen to be adapted that means that they can't be adapted well. A lot of video games can be adapted. And I guess the thing is, we've entered into the era where video games are now mainstream enough uh, that a lot of a lot of them are happening now. There's like that Bioshock series, Fallout oh, movie. Is it movie or TV show? I'm not sure. I never know these days. There's that. I think it's There's a TV Fallout show. TV. There's also a Fallout TV show. There's that Assassin's Creed TV show that's happening now. There's other movies that I'm forgetting about even right now that are definitely happening. It's like, yeah, we are... We're entering into that era now, As you so know. maybe, I don't know. What was that? As what you was know. that? Oh, it sounded really like, it sounded very digitized and weird. Oh, you, you don't believe I can impersonate a digitally voice saying, as you know? I, I don't know, maybe. Simpsons question for Fringy. Mm-hmm. Out of the main family, which characters were damaged most from old to new, and what change hurt the most? Um, I think that Bart's probably the one who's been damaged the least. I think. I think that Bart has remained the most consistent without having lost, um, like, who he is. 
Uh, I think that Homer has uh, slid a bit. I think that uh, I think that um, I've always gotten the impression that as it's gone on, he's become dumber while also having lost a bit of his heart um, compared to what he had in the earlier seasons. Um, I think Marge has remained fairly consistent. Uh, Lisa is a uh, hmm. I sometimes wonder if Lisa also kind of got flanderized as well. If you get what I mean. Like, who is Lisa? She's the smart one, but occasionally annoying one. And then that sort of just became, like, who she was. Sort of seen as by the show. Um. I don't know. I'm not sure. It'd probably be between Homer and Lisa. But I I'd guess probably the go problem with Homer. is that a lot of... I think it probably is Homer. I guess the, the difficulty is when we say from old to new, my version of new is like 2008 because I haven't watched Simpsons like regularly for a long time. So my reference is like past season 20 are pretty, uh, yeah, like I, I don't know. I haven't watched much of it past that point. Metal convince you guys to watch RRR yet? Seen it five times, the perfect antidote to Hollywood sludge, among the most entertaining films I've ever seen. He's mentioned it. Perhaps we will see it someday. Who knows? Uh, your invocation of Brute reminded me of Killing Bites, a werebeast fighting show with animal facts, shady corpos, and its borderline porn. I like. No idea what to do with any of that. Gonna th I don't either. Raise a thumb. What was the name of the show? Uh, Killing Bites. Never heard of it. Never heard of Killing Bites. Look up the Poo oh, Two Bird it? Yell. P O O T O O Bird Call. It's the first thing that pops up on YouTube. Oh yeah, these things. This is like a known meme. What are we dealing with? All right then. I'm 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 trying to find the call here. Pootoo bird call. Uh, common Pootoo call. Give me a second. The Great Putu. <laughs> that sounds like a guy saying, Wah! An odd noise. <laughs> it's an odd noise for an odd looking bird. That's a great noise, I love it. Uh also got uh, is this Digimon of the day? Yeah. This is our Mon of the Day named uh Rosemon. I guess it's kind of like a rose. That's just a person in an outfit, though. She's even got big tits. Like a rose head, sort of. Kind of. Like, I get it, you know, but... Rosemond? What, what is uh, she evolved from? It's probably some... A rose. Probably something that doesn't look anything like that at all. Let me take a look. Evolves from... Uh, is this for... I say that prior forms, Lilymon and Lilamon. Well, that's just fucking confusing. And I guess Lilymon's prior forms are Togamon. Yeah, I'm just going down the route. None of these seem to flow into each other. Oh wait, this is the one. Uh, yeah. The only thing that they sort of have in common is that they are very vaguely plant-like. 
that's sort of the theme that they keep is they're somewhat related to plants, except along the way, it just turns into a, a, a human looking fairy. So great. Yeah. When is the next mean EFAP? You guys have been too nice recently. I need to see you bully some poor souls. I mean, we've kind of been bullying Rings of Power and She-Hulk. We've been bullying Rings of Power and She-Hulk, absolutely. Got two super stickers. Thank you very much. Bringini, please watch Arthur is a Goofy Goober. What is that? Don't know. I'm not sure. You have to watch it and tell us. Your adventure. Yep. Uh, maybe. This is your quest. Hey, Fabcast, love all your work. Here's a fun exercise for all of you. Can you name five franchises that have recent installments within 10 years that haven't been completely ruined? Bet you can't. Hi, Rag. Hello. God of War. Are, are we, yeah, because we're including video games. There are a lot that are totally fine. That's what it says, franchises, so. Okay. Um, uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, that's gotten better. Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that. Uh, Better Call Saul. I Crash Bandicoot in the last decade got a really great new installment. Splatoon. Splatoon's been, well, Mario, of course. That has yet to be tarnished by this, the film. This, by the way, is why games feel like they're just so much healthier than movies. I think that games are healthier because games can't get away with as much, like, in terms of, like, if the, if the gameplay is bad, that's, like, a huge deficiency that's difficult to get over. Yeah. And there seems to be more generally agreed upon rules for what makes for good or bad design. Like, that, that just seems to be more appreciable, even if, like, there's a breadth to what good design means. And, you know, a sliding scale in terms of good, great, mediocre. Um, yeah, there's a lot of I mean, a lot of Nintendo franchises have are totally fine, <laughs> like as far as I'm concerned. You know, Super Smash Bros. is still great. Legend of Zelda was really cool. At least Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Mm hmm I guess with films it's a little bit <laughs> it's not as easy. Would you rather have a game with 10 guns and hundreds of different enemy types, or hundreds of different guns and 10 enemy types? It depends purely and... on how they're done. Uh, it, yeah. it, it depends. It depends entirely on the guns, and it depends entirely on the enemies. Because if they're all different in very small ways that aren't very meaningful, then it's not really going to matter that there's 100 of them. But if there's 10 very distinct enemy types, then, you know, that goes a long way. And same thing with the guns. You know, does it, you know, th does it matter that I have, you know, 30 flavors of virtually the same assault rifle? They're just very different in small ways. Like, nah, it doesn't really matter. I would probably go for enemy types. If I could have a variety of both, having a variety of enemy types is probably going to be my preference. But, of course, that will depend on how that's actually realized in the game. Yeah, I think instinctually I agree, actually. Um, I'm trying to envision it, right? Like, I run around with either the same gun and loads of different changing enemies. Or loads of different guns and one enemy. Feels like I, think, like um, I think one of the difficulties for me is I'm, I think it's a lot easier for me to conceptualize a variety of different enemy types that would yield different gameplay scenarios rather than different guns. It seems like at some stage it becomes impossible to the it, it becomes impossible to create brand new categories. Yeah, you know, like it's nice to have your shotgun, your sniper rifle, and then some of your you know other goofy sort of guns. Like those are neat. But really, yeah, it's, it's... especially when you start to pump up the difficulty, the ways that those enemies can behave starts to change as well. Not just like your weapons are just gonna be your weapons. Um, um, I guess but... what I mean is, um, if I imagine, like, ten different enemy types, it's like, well, man, like, the breadth there already seems like, wh how big are they? Are they even a human being? Are they, are they an animal? Are they an alien? What weapons do they have, including melee weapons, versus every gun could essentially be categorized into, you know, some set of categories, right? Like, at the end of the day, a sniper rifle has a certain function, 
a certain base function that has to remain consistent for it to be a sniper rifle. Same goes for a shotgun, a pistol. I, 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 I'm, I guess not to downplay like the amount of variety that would exist there, and especially if you had like a science fiction game or something, or like science fantasy, you could do more. It just seems like the breadth of enemy types is always going to be greater than the breadth of guns. That the more guns you add on, the less they're going to seem different from one another. You're just going to start having clones, it seems. Or, or, like, weapons that are barely functionally different. Like so Borderlands? Maybe like intuitively. Yeah, Borderlands seems to be the one that gets that complaint, right? That it says it has, like, a million guns, but the reality is that it has, like, 20 guns. With just different little modifiers. Yeah, the, I guess the attack speed at... on this one is slightly more, and you're like, okay. Then again, I guess, um, because if you look at something like Ratchet and Clank, one of the big selling points for the old Ratchet, I mean, I guess for all of the games has been the variety of the weapons that you can use. And the variety is, like, really broad. But, like, even Ratchet and Clank, like, at its most, had 50 guns. Um, I, I don't know how much more they could do, you know? Like, I, I'm not sure how many more weapons, <laughs> like, Ratchet, because in a lot of the different games, they will have new weapons, but oftentimes... Well, not oftentimes, but sometimes you'd have new weapons that are functionally the same as a weapon that was in the last game. It's just marginally different. Um, and I don't think Ratchet and Clank benefits from having, like, a billion that are totally different, rather than having, like, 50 guns that are incredibly distinct. I think there's going to be generally a bigger focus on what you're doing instead of what you're doing it with when you're playing a video game oftentimes. Because you become so familiar with your own tool set it seems more expansive to be able to present me with a wide variety of challenges to use that tool set. Um, and then just the way that I behave in the game, it actually changes a lot about my behavior and how I go through things. And I think it just gives it more, more staying power and more, more life to it. Especially if you give me a relatively smaller tool set that I eventually master. Right. Um, and then you give me all of these enemies and scenarios to use that in just think you'll get more mileage out of it. I think it'll go farther, and I think it'll be more interesting. It's always nice to have more guns and stuff, more weapons, but I mean, if you're just using every, if you're just using it against the same enemies over and over and over, you're just like, eh. especially if it's not a very good enemy or if they're very basic, like salt. You know, just you're fighting soldier men. Well, now that you're a, a homeowner, have you put any fault or consideration into getting a pet? I have two children, seven and nine. If you're interested, I could send one to you. Nah. Have you thought about getting a pet? Uh, yes. Not not a child, though. <laughs> Nor will I get one no, delivered like a, by mail. Like a, like a dog, though. Or a cat. I probably would start with... The, Rats. Maybe a fish. I, I, you know what? I have the same thought that it would be a good idea to start with a fish. You can take care of a fish, then you can start, you know, working up from there. Banding the palate. Kind of. But, I mean, when you say fish, you, you think in like a, like a proper, like aquarium? In one of those big One goldfish in a little fish. bowl. Are you hmm. going to give him a friend? Two goldfish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Two goldfish. Now you have a school. Wait. A whole school. That also, come off the fish. that's what like would... that's like the ideal time to get a kid, though, is when they're like seven, nine, you know, because they're not like shit in their diapers and things like that. And they're not just these like, little flesh Hormone bags bombs. that cry and whine. And yeah, they, you, they're starting to become you know, like intelligent and they could you know, they could speak and they can move around on their own and they could perform basic functions. They're like, oh, all right. So we've. We're past the stage where you're just this thing I have to carry around. That's cool. That's awesome. They also, this is like golden age where they haven't learned to be as selfish as they may become yet. <laughs> they get taught to be nice. Uh, and then it's only once they understand the cruel nature of the will that they'll, they'll know the value of lying. Yeah, you can chill out with them for a little bit longer, being hyper genuine. That's why it's mean to kill kids, because they're usually really nice. But you still get some bratty ones. It seems like, yeah, once, like, between the ages of 8 and 12, that's essentially when you're starting to become, like, your own person with your own sort of, uh, interests and, and likes and hobbies. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, you're, you're old enough that you're not totally, like, completely and utterly incapable 
of taking care of yourself um and you're not so old that you're starting to become an asshole <laughs> you know like starting to be a jerk that does seem to be yeah like 8 to 12 is is like the the cool uh, time for a kid uh lol someone just said the creature they'd ride into battle would be joe biden on a bicycle imagine riding into war like that and then just falling over why but why that's just seems like a really bad idea to ride into a battle on that yeah i would choose anything else and just like a shoe ride in a shoe i'd be better off as wheels maybe uh hmm mola asks where game of thrones character ranks wolf did this character even do anything in the show I I think we did that character ranking like a zillion years ago, but yeah. Also, Batgirl getting cancelled is hilarious. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I hope kind of bad it. for the creators, though. Yeah, I do feel bad. Um, Twitter hates a hole in the world slash the character in that episode. Help. Don't trust Twitter. Ignore them. <laughs> oh, don't tell me that. They don't know anything about things, alright? Uh, They're all silly. And who, who is this nebulous Twitter, anyway? Yeah. Who are they? What are their credentials? Sounds like a real jerk. Yes. Bringy, have you been to the Reynold Pornomo's Koi Desert Bars in Chippendale or Ride? If not, see some of the pictures. They look amazing. I doesn't sound familiar. Well, fair enough. Um, which would you rather die from, the Gimpy Gimpy plant or the Cordyceps fungus? Uh, is the Cordyceps painful or is it just? It's the one um, that like well, it's the Last I... of Us one. Yeah, yeah. But like well, you can maybe... you can die from that without it. Don't you just sort of? Isn't it the same as like you know blood loss sort of thing where you just go? Ugh. Um, I don't know about that. I get the, I'm pretty sure that the point of it is that like it's you basically are still alive, but you have your autonomy totally stripped from you. Like yeah, still, like I it's thought, your brain and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't like, remember if not, if that's what it is. Not, then yeah. I guess we'll pick the gimpy gimpy plant. Yeah, but you're not gonna die of the gimpy gimpy plant. You you that it doesn't kill you. But that's what the question says. It says die from. It doesn't kill you. It just hurts a lot. Well. But I suppose it's built into the question that, like, you, you well, die I from think it. It's, I think it's the story, right? It was the guy who used it as toilet paper and then killed himself because of how painful it was. That that's the association of, like, the death element of the gimpy gimpy plant. But it's not, as I understand it, it's not like a venomous plant or anything. Um, well, if there's enough pain, it can surely that. kill you from, like, shock or whatever, right? Maybe, maybe. But then again, cordyceps doesn't... Well, cordyceps does in reality eventually kill you, but like I guess what's baked into the question is you turn into one of the Last of Us like zombie entities, and they're not oh. dead; they're alive. Yeah, so. so like you would have to deal with for some period of time, like and not a small period either, having your autonomy slowly stripped away from. Well, but you would I be like... aware of that, or would my mind be altered to a degree so, that I'm enjoying it or want it? So like you. You remember in the game, like, when you encounter the runner enemy types, like, how often yeah. you'll be, when you encounter them, they're kind of, like, crying or screaming. Like, oh. the impression I get is that it's pretty horrendous. Like, it's, you're there, and you're still kind of there as it's starting to destroy you. That, that it's going to take some time before you, you as an entity are essentially destroyed. I only like, say this you're... because it's clearly Halloween, and it's time to bring it up, but there are just some games you should play. Mm -hmm. Like? Oh, you know. You've played it, Rags. So have I. I'm actually going to be playing a bit of it tomorrow. It's a oh. game with four letters, all caps lock. So you know Guns. It's good. Guns the game. Guns. <laughs> they just call the game that. So what even is our choice then? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> What's our choice? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think a choice is being made, is it? For spooky games to play during Spooky Ween. No. For the question. That's something to think about. Alright. I guess that's the answer. We gave answers on what it is, but then we didn't choose. That's not satisfying for people to ask. You know that, right? Yeah. Oh, it, the game Fringy needs to play? 
No, what's happening? Do you, do you not know what I'm talking about? Where have you been? The whole cordyceps thing. Yeah, I've been listening to the conversation. Yeah. So why can't you answer the question? Which, which one? Oh, probably Gimpy Gimpy. Yeah, and, and the death presumed there is, is by shock then? I assume so. Seems more... That seems less unappealing than just having your mind get fucking brain zombified and turning into some creepy monstrous thing. Yeah. Plus it might make you like hurt people around you and you don't want to do that. Uh, my issue with the D&D &D movie is that it just uses the basic default D&D &D world. Then what's special is that players make their own like Vox Machina. Or Machina. I don't Um, yeah, I think the D&D &D movie is not going to do well. I'm going to... I saw the trailer and it looked horrific. Um, I I would be curious... I bet it will be bad. We might end up seeing it for EFAT movies one day. I don't know. But I just don't... Uh, I just don't... I don't think it'll make money. I think it will lose a lot of money. I think that, I think that is a movie for nobody. Because the people who are really into D&D, &D, they're going to be big into wanting that D&D &D kind of stuff. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like it really, ha like it has them by name, but I don't know how it's really going to lean into all that sort of thing or be related to the game and try to bridge the gap between how do you turn this game and how it plays into like a story and a narrative with characters. And I don't think they're going to try to really do that well. So you're not going to get the game stuff you want. So I don't know who this movie's really for. I think it's just trying to now that D and D is a more mainstream thing and it's become a lot more prominent. They're making a movie on it because it's more popular now, and I think that's it. Uh, duck auto autocorrect. Yeah, it can be annoying. Duck it. Bart duck is underrated. It when good. he cries, it's a gut punch. True. Guess a little sad. Yeah, that's true. Hello, gang. Drummer Ringo Starr was in a 1969 movie called The Magic Christian, and the cast is surprisingly great for a movie I'd never heard of. All right, fair enough. I've never heard of this movie by Ringo Starr. Never Star. heard of it either. Have you guys seen Yellow Submarine? Uh, I think I have actually. It's a weird fucking movie. Yeah, you guys should talk about AOTH more. Very underrated. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. I didn't watch enough Sounds of it to wrong. talk about it really. Yeah, 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 I haven't watched enough to what I've seen. I've liked, but I just haven't watched much at all. Uh, on animation, is Wally worthy of an unbridled praise? I know you referenced it in the Captain Marvel review, and you made me want to watch it again. I'd yes. say yes. There's a lot of really cool things. It is among the finest of Disney Pixar's films. Yes. Mm, Wally. Disney tried to take down an online drawing of Mickey Mouse made by a five-year-old to protect their IP. Sounds like Disney. Uh, wow. <laughs> That'll be one of those things where I could see the lawyer being like, look, you don't understand. If we don't protect the IP, it's like, look, you don't have a then soul. Then five-year-olds <laughs> everywhere will draw Mickey. I don't know. It seems like it's not really protecting the IP, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, it seems like it's dealing damage to it, but... Uh, do you when think... you pair that up with all the shenanigans they do with copyright and yeah. trying to keep their characters as long as absolutely possible, and it's just like, oh, y'all are just a bunch of fucking pricks. Uh, do you think people have different expectations for TV and movies, e.g.? Do you think people would hate Obi-Wan more if it was a movie because they paid for it? Well, they paid for it on Disney+, Plus. a lot of people, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe the maybe if, if you took Kenobi and turned it into a movie... Which you could do. ...kept the same quality and everything, to where it was just... In, for, for the purpose of this, if it's indistinguishable, other than it's in a movie. And they went to a theater, they got in their cars, went to a theater brought their kids, got popcorn, sat down, watched it. Would that make them feel like they had a bigger investment in it? And so they might be more... Well, so the other uh, thing that comes to mind is, like, would it be more or less annoying than fucking Rise of Skywalker? Seems like they can get away with a lot these days. Like, it's bad, but 
I'm not sure that it would have been seen as worse or better if it were in movie format exactly. It's hard to say. Yeah, I don't know. It's there'd be less of it. True. Which is nice. Uh, I think monetary investment plays a factor in level of enjoyment, expectations, and story investment, so people maybe wouldn't be as critical. Maybe. I, I can't say. I really don't know. Uh, despite the golfing scene, I'm still invested in The Last of Us and what they'll do with the story for what it's worth. Cautiously curious for HBO series and third game. Despite the golfing um, scene. <laughs> the golfing scene is far from the only issue in that game. Yeah, exactly. It's a really bad game for many, many reasons. The story, like, is abysmal, but there's other stuff. I would go as far as saying if, if they announced The Last of Us 3... I might be curious, curious, curious to play it. Curious enough to play it, but uh, I think they've dealt incredible damage to that IP with Last of Us. Oh yeah, yes. I, don't even, I don't even know if I'd, I would expect them to make another one. As for the show, I will be quite interested in seeing what they're doing with that. Yeah. The Batgirl movie 2022 release is cancelled by Warner Brothers because they think it is not good enough. Thoughts? Also, hi Ragzatui. Hi Fringy. Hello. That must be a shockingly bad film. Yes, uh, that's the only thing you can conclude that uh, Zaslav watched it and was like, "Jesus Christ, we can't, we can't be putting this out. This is too awful." Or have it finished. The yeah. theories about the write-offs and stuff—they didn't care about how good it well, was. I don't, I don't think the theory is right at this point. It's just like, yeah, there was because there's a lot of stuff that's been cancelled or like even more so pulled from like streaming platforms and stuff because of tax write-off purposes right it's um an interesting strategy and in that it's like i don't know it seems like it's all it does is make people not want to work with you anymore because it's like oh the thing i make could be like deleted forever because of a tax write-off why would yeah. i work with you instead of any other studio you know that like there's a good chance that they've alienated a lot of talent because of all of these uh, decisions. Um, if Aussie is real, then why can't I drive there? I, I, I don't know what to tell you. You gotta get your car on a boat and then get that boat over here, and then you can drive. A lot of yeah. effort, isn't it? For a place that's well, apparently real. What oceans tend to do, you know. I haven't even met an ocean before. I thought you grew up surrounded by water. Oh, that's Boba Fett. A different guy. Boba Fett. 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 <laughs> Seen the new Rockstars video on Suicide Squad? They claim that the Enchantress is better than Avengers 1 Loki because at least she's not another angry white man. Nice. Well, that didn't work Very out, did it? Very true. <laughs> Everyone likes Loki and no one likes her, so... <laughs> uh, we hate them both. Or we like well, what Yoki, uh, Yoki, Yoki. What Loki used to be. Yeah, um, I've never been impressed by new rock stars except for the fact that they do sometimes find details in shit where I'm like, damn, you have like nerds on payroll? Because how the hell did you know that was there? But then, um, I mean, always cringe when people come up with stuff like that. Um, all of you should deep dive Shadow the Hedgehog. Like, as a concept or the whole thing or just that one game on GameCube? Right, that's one like. Well, like a fully in-depth review of Shadow the Hedgehog. Can get incredibly the seriously, compare it to all other action games of its genre and. Genre. And other it's... Sonic the Hedgehog games of the time. I have um, I have very little to say on the 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 Shadow the Hedgehog question. I have no what, whether investment or, not he's cool. or interest whatsoever. Oh, he's very cool. We all know that, of course. That goes out. That was a test. I'm glad but... you passed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I just don't know anything about Sonic or, or Shadow or any of the other animals in his and his Fringy is the most familiar out of the three of us with this content, this mythology of hedgehogs. The mythology of, of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. I guess I am, but like, it's no not use. that much. <laughs> Take this. This will end it. <laughs> Why did I make that game? Well, <laughs> I just, I don't know, it just seems like a total disaster, like, through and through. Little bit, little I like bit. that 
the idea that it would have been a great game if it had more time to be completed is like i don't know man a lot of those ideas were just misguided <laughs> hey there's people out there who adore it so how about you they probably easy, are okay this is one of the greatest games of all time to some people to some people probably is yeah and isn't that scary uh -huh. Can you give Plinkett the Van Helsing treatment of Nostalgia Critic? I recommend Baby Day Out, uh, Titanic and Indiana 4. His videos on them are shat, plus he contradicts his own standards a lot. I remember liking those videos. The, um, in fact, his, his one on Titanic pretty much fully solidified my opinion on Titanic. I was kind of mad on it, like in terms of... Mad in terms of like having no detail about my opinion on Titanic. And then I watched him explain all the behind-the-scenes stuff and... How it was made, and then uh, pointing out a lot of the setups, payoffs, but also crazy contrivances, and um, like how the film was received and stuff. I remember that fil film video being pretty good. I don't know. Indiana 4, hmm. all I remember is his cum joke where he, he, he blows open his TV, blows a hole in it. Um, some other stuff, I guess. I can't remember the baby's day out one. As for contradicting his own standards, maybe, maybe. But it sounds like you could, uh, you got all the references. Why don't you, uh, give it, give it a little shot? Because, I mean, we, we got, we got so much stuff we got to do. Throwing in a response to, to Plinkett and his opinions on Baby's Day Out. I just don't know if we can fit that in. Fair enough. Hello, EFAP. The classic Yu-Gi-Oh card of the day is Shape Snatch. Let's go to read the flavor text. Oh. Shape Snatch, all right. Oh, I remember this card. Um, Look at him so, go. yeah, a bow tie with horrible power. It attacks an opponent by controlling others. Okay. This is, it, it, yet again, we reach that. No, like, what is this creature? It's like a eye. It's a in machine. A, in a, a worm machine, but... He's got a butt. Like, what's going on here? What's going on here? I don't actually know, because the, the sentient bow tie part doesn't seem to match the image very well. There's a bow tie. I can see that, but... There is a bow tie. What's the rest of it? Yeah, the green hat seems like it would be more, I guess, noticeable. Uh, it just doesn't... Yeah. The, the, the idea the, that the this is one of his victims. Is very strange. He found a crazy eye creature with a green hat and then jumped on it. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, there's so there's so much of them you can't see. You, you you shudder at the thought. The mystery. Uh, just read every Pokemon entry of every game so we could be done with them. That might take a while. Yeah. Aren't there like a thousand of them at this stage? Probably. Um, Wings quote. Wings opinion on national socialism in America. Um. His response was, "I'd like to try it." <laughs> I mean, fair enough, you know. Get you gotta have, you gotta give everything a try. See what works, you know. Do you know what it is? I don't think so. Um, I'd I'm like to try it. Try, you know. I can believe that completely that he said that. Uh, high rags, Muller, and not fringy. Oh wow! Oh wow! Right, fringy. Uh, Secret Wars is the highest stakes, but great because it had 10 years of character-based build-up. The guy from the last video poorly described it. Hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, I don't oh, remember talking about that, the though. comics. Oh, yeah, I'm, uh, because... I remember, I think we watched a video where, like, throughout the whole thing, we were kind of going, hmm, uh, like, okay, <laughs> throughout it. Because that's the thing, right? I can believe the source material is almost always better at this point, especially for Phase 4 and stuff, but... Sometimes when people describe the comics, I'm like, oh, well, um, that also well, it's, it's kind of like a difficulty of the uh, of the medium, right? Because stuff can get built up for so long, or drawing references back uh, to to like a bunch of different stories, um, different individual runs. There can be special runs leading up to like crossovers, and it means that yeah, like it, it's it's difficult to get the full context for like anything. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure that the Civil War comic had a whole bunch of adjacent comics as well as all of the build-up and then the aftermath. But, I mean, I think 
a large number of people, probably the majority of people are only ever going to read, like, the main arc. So, and if you try to explain it as well. I guess it was, um, it was because, what was the name of the, uh, the, the place that they went to? It was like, it had a, it had, like, kind of a dumb name. That, like, uh, the realm that they went to. In Civil War? Like, Battle World or something. I think it was called something like that. Oh. Or Battle, Battle Land. World. It, I can't remember. It was. It, I think all of us were like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> Kingdom of War. And, and, it's, and the the funny part is, even even if that's the case, if they make fun of it in Secret Wars, that'll annoy me. It's like you don't get to use it and then make fun of it too. <laughs> like, sorry. What a fucking time know, they so. make fun of their own shit. God damn it. Well, I guess it's just I don't know. You don't get to use Black Bolt and then make fun of his name. You don't get to use that and extract all of the monetary value from that while also making fun of it. It's starting to annoy me now that Marvel keeps doing that. And they will keep doing it. Especially when, I mean, let's get real, if Michael Waldron's writing Secret Wars, like... I, mean, <laughs> okay. I imagine that Secret Wars, the comic, is going to hold up pretty well by comparison. <laughs> is he fulfilled being a like, fill-in writer that just exists to... Bring this shit but isn't together, that funny Michael. that you're going to have a, a fill-in writer for, like, the biggest Marvel movie ever? <laughs> Why is this how writing is treated? I don't understand. He's, well, he's writing that Star Wars movie, too. Wow, sure, but that's right. He's, uh, but Secret Wars is, like, that's the biggest movie you could ever hope to make. Like, I, I don't really see how anything could be bigger than that. It's a multiverse Marvel film. Like, it's, 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 there's no, nothing bigger than that. You know what would be huge, though, is if it only makes... I know this sounds crazy, but if it only makes 700 million or something, Avengers film, uh, I mean, if like... that happened, like, it probably wouldn't be profitable, I would imagine. I'm pretty sure Endgame costs, like, $400 million, not including marketing, so... And, but if it did, yeah. though, what a statement that would be in terms of... The, uh, the if it did, I think that would well. probably be, like, uh, instant changes uh, at Marvel Studios in oh, terms yeah, panic, of technology, people in charge... Panic, decision makers yeah. yeah pretty much panic uh today Chaos. is wednesday august the 10th 2022 <laughs> huh. <laughs> right on time um adam took my wrench for criticizing his bad media takes everyone laugh at him efap is really good fap oh uh, that'd be adam well, from we are adam good Sitch. fap now i don't know anything about that situation so i cannot comment I'm yeah, sure he only took it because he disagreed, which is good. <laughs> That's how that should work, I guess. But yeah. I don't know how wrenches work in their universe. All he thought terrifying. you were unworthy to wield the wrench for whatever reason. I don't know. I make no claims. Um, is this... Memory's broken, the morb goes unspoken. Uh, <laughs> I've ever <laughs> morbotten my name. Don't know the... Season or why it's is the reason I'm morbid here holding my blade. Desolate place without any trace. It's only the morbid I feels me that I sp spy. Why didn't you use spaces properly? I spite as I stand up and morb the only thing I morb for real. There will be morbed the man in the mirror. <laughs> Morbs his head, the only one left. I assume that they gave it. Oh, there's a third one. Will <laughs> morb open the dragon's back because the mountains don't more back when they take oh no there'll be morbs morbs he he edit he, he it's the only thing i've ever morbed all right there you go yeah oh, so right. that's uh that's metal gear rising but with morbius hmm. <laughs> classic Morbing fictional here. character morbius is uh very much a fan favorite him popping up in all kinds of things probably i'm pretty sure that as soon as you said icon. As soon as you said memory's broken, I already knew like what it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Yu-Gi-Oh card, Stardust Dragon, the OG Synchro. Stardust Dragon, Yu-Gi-Oh. What does the OG Synchro mean? I guess, I think Synchro is a type of uh, monster. Oh, okay. So he's like the, the first or in the original... Um, I, I, I'm not certain though. I can get, a, I can get you a picture here. A Pikachu. Pikachu. Let's uh, copy image, paste it. I don't know what a synchro 
So you have to have a, a tuner plus one one tuner plus one non-tuner monsters. Okay. So I, I don't know anything about the rules surrounding Stardust Dragon. I guess he's powerful. I suppose. Um, certainly very shiny. Looks very special. Mm -hmm. It's a first edition. Ooh. Well, you know it's... 2020. Uh, okay. Familiar with many adult swim shows. Interested in which you long men consider the good ones, bad ones, and why? Can be any of them. Cartoon or live action. Uh, um... I mean... Some of Robot. them are a bit more Robot uh, Chicken's absurdist. A winner, yeah. yeah. Uh, I... Rick and Morty up until a point, obviously. <laughs> is, Apocalypse. Uh, pretty great. Um, Adventure Bros. I always hear that uh, the, the one with the, the, the milkshake guy, what's, what's it called? Um, Aqua Teen Hunger, Hunger Force. Hunger Force. I've always heard that that one's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, it's like a... Rene uh, Xavier Renegade Angel, where it's just this kind of weird, absurdist kind of show, but I've I've always liked Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Well, there's some good ones. What are the bad ones? Oh, I don't know. Uh, That's the thing. I'm not actually familiar enough with Adult Swim's of lineup to know the shitty ones. Yeah, I don't think I am either, for the most part. Well. Like we're so out there on that you go. One. Take what you can get. Indiana Jones didn't affect the plot much in Raiders. Batman not affecting things up until the finale is not fair criticism. I think I said that, that's one of Sitch's takes that he doesn't like the Batman. Doesn't really affect anything in terms of significant change in the, in the Batman uh, in the first two acts. I think is what. Possibly in the whole Wait, film, I can't quite remember. That's why he doesn't like it? Or... Well, because, yeah, I think when I introduced it, I was like, first of all, I'm not 100% sure if that's true. I'd have to go through it. But secondly, I don't know that that's, um, that, that makes it, that's a criticism. I don't see why that would be a criticism, especially when, it, like, the conclusion of the film is him recognizing that he's been going about things the wrong way and that, like, his means of uh, affecting change, like, he starts to realize the means by which he can affect change, positive change in the world. Yeah, because... No, he still makes efforts, takes action, just because uh, things may have turned out the just same way had he not work. done anything doesn't yeah. thus mean it's pointless, right? He can still grab well, a lot of meaning things, out of his things actions. Things don't turn out the same yeah, way, though. Yeah. Things, it, his actions and are, like, causing certain events to pass, really. I can, I can see why someone might not prefer that or might not like it, but there is an element of a character who's in... Either a helpless situation or a situation where they're, you know, like trapped or something like that, or something like the Batman, where he's doing things, he's he's investigating, he's trying to figure stuff out, but he's not able to do it, I guess, in a timely enough way. I mean, that, that's fine with me as long as the characterization is good. I think that's what the key is. Like if, uh, if we got if we had a story about, yeah, you know, if we took, you know a Marvel or Lord of the Rings or something like that, where you have this, you know, ultimate bigger plot happening. And we just follow the story of you know, sort of a normal person going through their day. Like we wouldn't expect them to really make any ultimate impact on any broader plot, but you know, seeing how they deal with things and what they do could be its own interesting story. Yeah. Uh, any word on another run of the EFAP plushies? Well, yeah. Glad you asked. In um, fact, mine is live right now. Uh, it might not be by the time this is out. <laughs> oh, this is oh, this isn't live. I'm oh, not okay. sure what it'll check. Person listening right now, uh, it may still be live. It may also not. I'm not 100 percent sure. It may. It may. But uh, Ian Fringy's ones up. It's done. Still up for another. It's up for another t 11 days. So yeah. Very coolio. Are you going to respond to that seven-minute video questioning why you do Super Chats? I haven't had the chance to watch it yet. It looks dumb. Well, like, why we do them at all? Because, um... You guys have a thing where you can send money and get some message and, like, well, yeah, I feel obligated like to read a, it. Um, that seems like a nice thing to do, that we read the read the things you say if you give us money. Obviously, the we separate them Fair out change. so that they don't uh, interrupt 
conversation flow unless they're relevant at the time. That's one of the things we do. We um we promise to read every single one of them. Sometimes it takes some time because we've got so much stuff going on. I try and get the three of us available. So that the expectation of the hosts reading it as opposed to just me or any one of us. Uh, so we get that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty straightforward. Obviously, if you don't like the way that we do it, there is no obligation whatsoever. We appreciate any and all engagement work you, but even still. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know. It's pretty yeah, straightforward. Yeah, I get it if it's not your cup of tea. That's fair. Uh, pick a doggo. Dog girl GF, sorry, Husky, G Shepherd, or Golden Retriever. Like uh like a dog that I would have? Well I don't have that much room right now. It's one of the reasons I don't have a dog. Um it'd be a a golden retriever, a German shepherd, or a uh husky. Huskies are pretty cool. I'm I, I, I see people around here with huskies, so I assume the climate's fine for them. I guess you def, just have to watch out in the, in the uh, hotter months of the year. But I just don't think I have the room for any large dog right now. But probably, I mean, huskies are pretty cool. I'd probably go with one of them. They're pretty neat. I think I'd match their energy. I'd probably, I'm fine with any of those. I'd just try and research them up a bit. Find out which one would be best for where I'm at. Yeah, like they all, they all seem like neat dogs. Huskies I've always thought were pretty cool though. They 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 have uh they're ready for movies. They, they, look, they yeah. I think the closer they look like wolves, the the more people like you, yeah. you're, you're a cool doggo. Well, I I mean I guess there are plenty of people who like small dogs. Um Yeah. There's plenty and, of people like, these, like smaller that's, dogs. That's, that's more of a look cuter like factor yeah. rather than the the badass factor. I think. Um, I guess, but I, I mean, I well, I will say right, like I uh, I feel bad for a lot of like these sort of weird like breeds of dogs, like yeah. pugs. I feel really bad for. It's like man, like breathing is a struggle, and like that was unnecessary. Um, and I think I don't know, like when I look at a dog like a husky or a labrador or a like a kelpie or something it's like man you're like a you're like a dog you know like you're a dog dog yeah because, we haven't yeah, they're, they're like a wolf they're closer to that yeah we we haven't uh like selectively bred you into something that's like detrimental because yeah, you could exactly. have well, you know, plenty of yeah. small dogs are just fine they're just animals you know but sure. there's nothing wrong with them you know but there just... are some animals where it's like, man, you have been like screwed over big time by these weird like breeding things that people did done just because they wanted to make you something that you're not. And I guess that's why I like the regular dogs, because it's like you're dogs, you know? That's what you are. You're just like you're you're a good old fashioned doggo. And you can and you and you can you're like to some extent self reliant. Um but you're like not totally and utterly dependent on a human being. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just, yeah, like, uh, the, those are the types of dogs that I like, like, um, regular dogs, essentially. Like they'd still be viable in the wild in some way. Pretty much. I think that might be, like, the main thing. I get the impression it's like, if there were no humans around, you'd be okay, which I don't think I could say for, like, a pug or a chihuahua or something. It's like, good luck, mm -hmm. you know? Good luck in that cruel, cruel world. Hello there, Mauler and Co. Hope the new video hasn't been too maddening for you. Be the Doctor Strange one at this point. All uh, right, which wouldn't have been done at the time, no. right? If that August date, because yeah, this is before the anniversary. Uh, hope everyone's doing swell. Just released a Thor video, by the way. Remember Thor: Love and Thunder? Remember when that happened? Yeah, nobody talks about it anymore. It's already gone. Yeah, memory hold. Hardcore to the point where I think people are going to already really start struggling to remember the plot line. They'll be like, "Well, it was Gore." Ah, uh, yes. But yeah, but what I did Gore do? Can, and it's like he um he kidnapped children. <laughs> like, and then they'll be like, "Wait, why did he kidnap kids? children?" He has like a, a a sword, a shadow sword thing. And he can summon shadow monsters, I suppose. Uh, used to listen in a lot, like two years ago, but stopped, and now I'm back. What did I miss specifically? What memes have I missed? Two years I'll of have memes. to refer you to efamp.me for that. Yeah, not even we can give that answer, but lots. Bringy, you like neat animal stuff. Have you ever seen what happens to a scorpion when you shine a black light on it? No. 
Can't say that I have, but I hope it's, like, I don't know, that sounds like it's not very pleasant for the scorpion, is it? Or is it... Uh, I think know? the scorpion couldn't care uh, less, uh, but I'll, I'll show you what happens, apparently. A black light? What, what is that? Oh, like a, um... Oh, I see. So, like, if it was, like, UV or something, or... Wait, like, uh, night vision. scorpions glow under black light. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. Scorpions, uh, I don't know why. Spiders give me much more of a fright factor. Scorpions give uh, a little bit more of the badass factor to me. I think scorpions are cool, yeah. Yeah, I, uh... there's something about scorpions where they don't seem like bugs, almost. or They're, they're, like, they're clearly you. arthropods, but they're not... They, yeah, they, they've almost like... Um, They've been upgraded from bug level into almost like normal animal kind of kind of creature. I think it's the I think it's the tail and the claws. Those are like the things that make scorpions cool to me. They they seem a little designed on purpose, like 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 by a they do. Yeah, some writer created these in a little fantasy thing, and you're just like, cool. Yeah, this is the super chat ketchup that uh, Mahler says uh, intelligent design was correct all along, and the Boss. scorpion is proof. They're beautiful. Gorgeous. Um, I've been watching Stranger Things. Fringy, I had no idea. I'm so sorry you have to live in the Upside Down. Yeah. That plague, wait, was there a plague doctor in the Upside Down? I think they just mean Australia is the Upside Down. Oh, uh, wow. Well, from a certain point of view, the, the Northern Hemisphere is the Upside Down. Did I or even? I mean, what is, what is up in space, you know? Yes. You may be interested to know, Wesker is being added to Dead by Daylight. Now you can chase four Chris Redfields around Silent Hill map as Wesker. Shouting Chris! Chris. Uh, is there a tort? Yeah, is there a tort Chris. where he screams Chris? Or... I don't think Chris. so, but if there <laughs> isn't, that should be added. Chris. Thoughts on Chris. the Borderlands franchise? I liked I one and I liked two. But uh, I played I the fuck out strongly. of one, but didn't Care about Borderlands franchise? I just didn't. Yeah, well, I don't. I never played the third one, or I guess there was a, a, a Tiny Tina game. I I think I I don't I have I, no strong opinions whatsoever on the Borderlands games. I remember playing them, enjoying and enjoying them, but that's as far as it goes, really. They're uh, they're making a film, uh, like a Borderlands no. movie. I think Jack Black is playing Claptrap. Oh. oh, and uh, I think Kate Blanchett's in it as well. In fact, oh. I think there's a bunch of people in it. Like, well, of course, there's a bunch of people in it, but like a bunch of names you'd recognize. Because we can't get the the, the claptrap voice actor that made that character the one he was, and that everyone associates with. Well, him because he's but like famous. rags. I mean, if if like yeah, but like if the Mario movie shows you anything, it's like well, yeah, you need you got to have celebrity voices in your in your uh, movies. Uh... Or what? What are you gonna um, do for you? Beat me up? Is that it? No, I, I, no. He'll just, he'll he'll feed you mushrooms. That's not my preference. It's just the yeah. Stuff I don't mushrooms know. in your face. They make it so many video. Like they just posted a uh, teaser for, or like a teaser image for uh, the Fallout show on Amazon. Yeah. It's like oh yeah, right. That's a that's a thing too. Bioshock. Uh, uh, it's gonna be shit, and the action's gonna be shit. Um, I mean, I guess yeah. I don't, I don't know, like. Yeah, I'm not like hugely optimistic for a lot of these projects, but who knows? Hey, I got a free super chat. Just letting you guys know you're awesome. Eager for 200. Uh, timeline wise. Oh, I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I do hope you liked it. It was fun. It was long. Things happened. Um, I think What's nope isn't talked about as much due to message. The message being less political. Message being you can't always tame wild animals. Well, that's, that's the message. I would say it's a little bit more than that. It's um, it's about like the commercial commercialization of like nature to a degree and what it costs us and what it does to the things involved in it. Because um, okay. the one of the bigger events of the past are like there's this sitcom show thing or like a a show with like a monkey, and uh, it's all chill and happy and stuff. But then. I think it's like a series, it's like the monkey's birthday and everyone takes photos of it and it goes nuts and kills everybody. Um, and the film itself is about an alien spaceship that everyone's trying to get the attention of and figure out. 
and it starts killing everybody as well. Um, but everyone's trying to make money off it, or rather, the local whatever guy is. Um, there's a lot of things in that movie that are like okay, and then lots of it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. But um, it seems to me like an attempt to monetize nature or something like that in a controlled manner, and then it goes completely wrong. And I think like they want to imply nature or something. Yeah, there's the. I'd have to watch it again, but I remember just it's a it's a weird movie. All three of them are weird at this point, but uh. I don't know. I guess I, I would say I'm still interested to see what Appeal does next. Makes different movies. For lack of a better term. Still gotta show you guys Us at some point. That is a way, way out there movie. Should have... Is that a... What, what movie is that? Is that the second one he did? Um, if, if one is to consider those a series in some way, then yeah, it's the second. Okay. Ringolio. What? Should it be we? No. Or us? Yes. Do people, people, people say less when they should say fewer? Or vice versa, I suppose? Oh, it would make sense if you saw it. You'd be like, wow, what a great title. Ah. Like, oh, it's, it's, uh, it, it reminds me of a particular Hogan's Heroes sketch, but, uh, maybe, maybe it, yeah, okay, fair enough. Ringolio, you prefer Maccas or Hungry Jacks? Um, what are those? Donald's uh, and Burger so, King. Oh, yeah, Hungry okay. Jacks character won a Burger King. Um, uh, I guess it depends on what I'd be getting. I yeah, probably generally prefer Hungry Jacks. Um, yeah, uh, except for breakfast, I prefer McDonald's to get breakfast. What are your thoughts on judging media on what it could have been as opposed to judging it on the merits of what it turned out to be? I mean, it's, I think it's worthwhile to talk about what something could have been, what changes. Like, it's worthwhile. doesn't tend yeah. to factor into a but... final score, though, right? No. no. No, it doesn't. All kinds of terrible movies could have been good. Yeah, especially when you find out, like, the ambition ahead of time. Especially if they right. sell it that way and then they're like but we didn't we ran out of time i mean it gets people uh interested in supporting it and then it can get made right no i'm not at all referencing something recently that was sold to be a particular thing and then everyone got it and then was like oh this isn't that at all and then the funny thing is i wonder if you guys know which thing individually i'm talking about as opposed to or replies yeah, to I stuff. think I do. Yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. I can narrow it down. Video game. I I, I think I'm right. What about you, Fringy? What you... I think I know exactly what you're talking about. The the world of EFAB will already have our coverage of that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and it looks like... We are caught up with that. This is these are the super chats that came in on the stream that basically broke. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Bankrupted it. Oh, Digimon of the Day is Beelzemon. Is this like a gonna be like a little devil? B B E E L Z. One sec, uh we'll look and oh, chat about it. I will I be right it. back. All right, let me get a pit okay, edgy boy. Um I will. Wow. Um, let me get a picture for you. Oh, edgy, edgy boy. Okay. <laughs> um, I gotta find a pic. A lot of these are like, okay, copy image. Copy image paste. That's that's Beelzemon. He's a. Um. Uh, that is in, that is hyper edgy, yeah. That is very, very edgy. Oh my goodness, he has. <laughs> he's just like a um. Oh, how to describe him? He's oh like my a, god, that's Beelzemon. <laughs> Look at his shoes. He's, his <laughs> shoes have spikes on him. His hands are claws. Cool. He has guns that he can shoot. He has wings that come out of his back. Oh yeah, he has wings that come but out of his back. Spiky they, they, tail too. Yeah, the um, 
I, I I guess this little fucker in the back is what he evolves from, but or you did you evolves from or whatever. But yeah, he's got guns, he's got claws, he's got the black outfit, the jacket, he's got a tail, he's got black wings or purple, dark purple wings. Ooh, he's even got an eye in the middle of his forehead. He is. That's cool. He, just so oh yeah, you know. he, he's very cool. You oh my gosh, he rides him. a motorcycle. Have we covered this guy before? Ride the motorcycle. I was gonna say, why would you drive a car? That'd be boring as fuck. Like, oh hell. Yeah. Um, I'll copy. He's got a motorcycle too. He's got his uh, motorcycle. That's very, it's very cool how he has that motorcycle. Little skulls uh, on the wheels. It's true. That's very cool when you have skulls on your wheels. This guy's, this guy's awesome. What I, is I the, would hang out with him. What what is the um let me see. He is it oh Beelzemon is an evil king Digimon. It is <laughs> Evil King. Evil King Digimon. That's an all in, in capitalized evil king Digimon. Uh, we have it is one of the seven great demon lords um, represent, representing Venus and the sin of gluttony, which oh. I wouldn't have guessed. Sin of pride, maybe. Uh, I, but um, uh, apparently his title is the duelist of finality. Ooh! Wow. Um, yeah. Uh, while it possesses the power to preside over the many devil Digimon, it dares to observe a solitary existence. It is said that it could stand at the peak of the dark army, nightmare soldiers, if it cared to. You see, it's it's a little despondent and negligent, just like oh, a good just edgy a... character likes to hang out on his own. Yeah, he's got a lot of responsibility, you know? or rather power and, and potential, but you know what? He's, he's not bothered by all that. He just wants... Pretty, he's playing it cool. Yeah, I could be the head oh. of the demon army, but you know. Yeah, this, it rides on the gigantic motorcycle-type machine, Behemoth, holding its cherished shotguns, the Berengena. Uh, although its personality is cruel and merciless, it is also exceedingly prideful, so it would never attack the weak. This is someone's OC. Someone made an OC and they put it in the show. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cruel and merciless. I'm a bad boy, but I, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't attack the weak. I'm uh, actually like bad. Gold. I'm not actually bad. Heart yeah, heart of gold. gold. Yeah, yep, heart of gold. I wouldn't actually do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm absolutely. sure he's also just defeat all the most powerful enemies, or rather he could, but he doesn't want to because that would be too easy. What a cool dude. He's very, very, very cool. Don't really know what to send, so here's a riddle. It can speak oh with its hard metal tongue, but it cannot breathe for it has no lung. What is it? It can speak, speak with a hard metal tongue, so it makes some hard metal tongue. So I want to say it's some kind of like a horn. Right, and the horn is like a tongue, like a um, like a saxophone, maybe. Uh, I think, but but it... the idea of something making sound, but it's not breathing, it's like that's that's pretty easy. But then the part of like it has a the metal tongue part makes me feel like, what exactly metal would that tongue. qualify as? Would it be um, because I'm thinking like a like a muffler or a saxophone, um, maybe a whistle. No, those aren't. Those can be metal, but uh, you can make them out of plastic. Um, and hard metal tongue. It it says it it speaks with its hard metal tongue. It or can it... speak with its hard metal tongue, but cannot breathe for it has no lung. So that implies that only air only goes out one way. It only air only you know goes out of it, right? So. Um, maybe it's a, an organ, like, like a pipe organ. Yeah, I mean, I'm, um, I'm not sure. But those would be, those would, I suppose those would be my answers if I didn't give it any more time to really think about it. Perhaps we'll discover the truth one day. Oh, do they not have an answer? No, it's not, it's not embedded with it. I guess you'd have to Google it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, You're doing that right now. Uh, it is. Oh, it says it is a um, a bell. 
Oh. Okay. Hard metal tongue. I cannot breathe. I feel like my answers were pretty much just as good. I can understand why the bell thing... Oh, maybe the tongue is the... Yeah, the tongue is the little bit yeah. that beats on the inside of the bell, and the bell itself is like lips. Okay. But then again, saxophone also has, you know, the... the or, or a lot of the... Like a trumpet, right? Air only goes, you know, outwards when it's in use. It has that round exit for sound to come out of. We were in the realm of the answer. We were... We, we're definitely in the realm. I think we get some decent credit for that. Um, I'm doing this thing where I actually talk in my videos. I find it weird trying to explain my opinion to a mic, even with a script. Y'all got any suggestions, or is it just something you get over? Hmm. Um, I, I, you might get over it, but that might only depend on if you have that right mindset. Um, just, just speak as if you're talking. Uh, just talk as if someone's listening, really. Pretend someone's listening to you talking. And don't think about the microphone. Don't think about being, you know, generally you're going to be alone in a room. But imagine the people listening to this as you say it. So all those people who are going to hear me, it's like I'm talking to them now. It's like they're listening now. I think when I first started recording my first ever attempt at a Let's Play, I was stressed out because I was like, oh God, if I say anything wrong or if I screw up, it's gone forever. Even though it was such like a silly mindset, it was just like, well, I mean, you could edit it, you could redo it. But like, it was when the hit record button was hit all the way back then, I was just like, oh, geez, I gotta, I gotta make sure I nail it now. Which is funny, because I don't feel that way anymore when I'm literally live streaming for hours on end, talking about anything and everything. Like, yeah, um, so I think Rags is correct that it might not be something you ever lose, that sense of the, maybe the trepidation, but at the same time... Uh, Pretty easy to get over because you you probably do it in your day to day when you're talking to people. You just got to try and simulate that. Yeah, I, I think if you don't have that, like for instance, if you were to just carry on and remain nervous, I don't think it would ever fix itself. But if you put yourself in that right mindset and then that just sort of became the normal thing you think, I think then it will it it'll you know help. Um, and good luck. Uh, wish you the best with yeah. that one. Yes. yes. You always use more voices talking about all kinds of things. Now, um, that's that's it. So this is a when you listen back to this, this was cut from three different pieces because of calamities of different kinds that were happening. But hopefully, it's some level of coherency. Um, thank you all for for checking this out and more catch ups on the way. Thanks for listening, folks. Yeah, goodbye everybody. We'll see you later. Bye 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 bye.